What's up? How's it going? It's supposed to like let me go live, but I guess it didn't. Anyways, haven't seen you guys since uh, last year. Hey. <laughs> How you guys doing? Happy New Year. We're going to do some uh, channel reviews tonight. Today? Tonight? I mean, it gets dark so early. You know what I'm saying? What up? So, uh, if you want me to take a look at your channel or your uh, your brand, your freelance brand, whatever it is, see if I can't give you some tips. If you want me to review it, just toss in the chat. Let me welcome some people. Zlatan, Tom, what up? Deus, Anna, Jacob, dude, what up? Tom, code, the real thing. What's up, dude? I got this new microphone. Should I get a MacBook Pro or a desktop? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna recommend an Apple product. You can get more power for a better price. All right, let's look at Innerman. He's always asking the questions. All right, let's uh, put the music on hold for just a second. Awake, dude. Katie, what's up? Notification squad. What do you say at the beginning of the video to get the viewer's attention? Do you just repeat the title? Sometimes I don't even repeat the title. I find a lot of, uh, like, in this video, we're going to talk about blah, blah, blah. Just, like, just get straight into it. Just jump straight into it. You have to have, like, a hook. Like, like one of the best parts of the video should be at the beginning. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't do it. Just a Razor Chrome pad? Nah, this is just the Corsair pad that I got at Best Buy because I didn't have one. Are you still coding? Sometimes. All right, let's take a look. Long time caller, first time listener. Hi, uh, Josh Amaya. Oh, how you doing, Craig? Thanks for calling. Well, I'm better than I deserve. How are you today? That's what he says, right? Good old Dave Ramsey. Okay. This is Interman Trailer. Okay, first of all, well, I've, I've never really seen a channel trailer do anything like that big for a channel. Um... I find if you just put your most viewed video here, like whenever I go to a channel, which isn't very often, I usually just watch the videos or click the videos tab as soon as I get here. Um, I don't I don't think a trailer is gonna do much. Just put your best video up here so that people can see what you got. But let's take a look. Look at taking it to the streets. This one. What do we, uh... I don't know what's happening. You're gonna need to save up, and you're gonna need about one million dollars, okay? I'm not sure what the intro was. It's really hard to follow. Um... Did you guys did you guys in the chat follow what was happening? That was really difficult for me to follow what was happening. Like you just Did you have to like was she in on it or like what's going on? What are we doing ASMR? Just uh, I'm trying to get a new camera angle here. This would have this would be where I started the video. Hey there. My name is Enderman, the creator of the Enderman Arts channel. This is where I document my journey to become a great artist and creator in order to provide relevant information to any of you that decide to undertake a similar endeavor. I would like to Seems welcome fine. you, or keeping up, welcome you back to the character art to Journey to Greatness series. This series focuses primarily on me trying out different things in order to improve as an artist. And if any of you aspire to create your own fictional characters or fictional universe... First of all, are, are you going to get... Uh, let me ask you a question. Are you using music from Epidemic Sound? I need to know, because, like, you're going to get the whole stream demonetized if I watch it, basically. It's probably too late. Whatever. 
I'm introducing a new segment for this. I'm, I'm here to give back, not for the money. Taking it to the streets. Taking it to the streets. Yeah. All right. In this segment, I go up to three random strangers and ask them if they would practice drawing a certain thing that I've learned over the past few weeks. And okay. the reason I started this segment is because um, I thought it would be like a good way to get me out of my comfort zone and to really see if I'm actually memorizing the things that I've been learning. I don't think that you should memorize the things that you're learning. Because that's not a great way to learn. That's not learning. That's memorizing. Learning is like, oh, I don't, I don't know, but I've learned a few skills so I could figure it out. Okay. This is a really long intro. Um, you probably could have cut this up. Take it to the streets. All right. Uh, so I'm out here um, just trying to see if I can get some people to draw with me. Uh, pro tip here for the video. Take this lav mic and put it uh, up through your shirt and then clip it on the outside. Well, there goes my light. Hold on. That's what I get. One sec. I was using this light. Okay. Now we're good. Well, I'm out here um, just trying to see if I can get some people to draw with me. I would cut this part out. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, are you bit? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay, I have a meeting. Right, thank you. Oh, my voice. Ah, oh, jeez, Rick. Yeah, so like. Yeah, she's on. She's on the phone, and you know, I don't want to. I mean, maybe this. Maybe this is just. Maybe this is just me, but it might be these glasses that you like, giving off a. It's like a little bit of a vibe going on. Uh, I mean, like I'm unopinionated, but just uh, see it from a stranger's point of view. These glasses are a little bit. Uh, they really give you a character if you get if you get what I'm saying. Uh, hey guys, um, it's Enderman. I'm back. Uh, I'm with um, what's your name, sir? My name's Charles. Hey, what up, Charles? Rosalinda. What's your major? Uh, I'm in health sciences. So, so I probably I probably would have like started the video here like right here after after the after the intro maybe I would have started the video here or maybe just a couple rejections but there's a lot of like uh, empty space I guess. I know it's what's this, what's this well, I mean you know I would doodle here and there but that was about it. Do you have any drawings? Okay, besides the video. Uh, for your title, I would say asking random strangers to draw things with me. That, that, I think that'd probably be like a little bit uh, better. Um, yeah, probably asking random strangers. Experience like ever? No, pretty much absolutely nothing. Do you have any experience drawing anything? No. Like, not like in childhood or anything like that? Yeah, a little bit, but. What we're gonna be doing today is basically I'm gonna gonna be getting a random thing that we're gonna be drawing. We're drawing. Is that the uh, Inner Man wheel? So we're gonna be drawing an upper skeleton. Like Wait, hold on. Did you do you have an app that you made? You didn't even talk to us about that. Does it say Inner Man wheel? What? Are you using a proprietary wheel to draw random things? Drawing. All right. You, you end up getting like, look you saw that that's an inner man explain this what is this so we're gonna be drawing an upper scale what so we're drawing I would probably uh, like speed this part up you know like speed drawing that's not quite a circle but <laughs> what do do Or maybe so, use subtitles or titles. Is that a line? Line to the middle? 
Oh, also, when you're introducing, when you're, uh, when you're introducing people, it would be cool if you put like a little title, like a little lower third for their name. You're like, this is, this is Rosalind. She's a student. It's her major or something. You know, just to kind of give it a character, like when you're interviewing someone, just for a second. It's an app. Okay. Like it's original content, right? Like I'm just trying to figure out things that I would do to get more views and how I would edit this video. I look pretty good. Go ahead and show yours. All right. For now. Go ahead and show yours. And so, like, I would probably cut to the part where he's just holding it. There's a lot of motion and moving in this that is like, uh, you could cut, I guess. My part. Just a warning. Not that good. <laughs> that looks good. I think hers is a little bit better than mine. Mine's cute. Mm -hmm. Appreciate For it. Sure. Um, oh, what's your what's your Instagram? Uh, it's C. Okay, let's see what else we got. So you let them plug at the end. That's cool. Below. And just a reminder. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Um, there's a lot of empty space, like in your in your talking. That's why I have a lot of jump cuts because I can't hold my train of thought very very well either. Below. Um. And just a reminder, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell if you really enjoyed the episode. It really helps out the channel. It does. You know what? Hit that subscribe. Here's the channel, guys. If you want to go look at it, let's let's take a look at uh, some of these thumbnails. So taken into the streets, I would I would just change the title to "Asking Strangers to Draw with Me." I think that'd get a lot of views. Hmm. Like this thumbnail is good, very clear. Uh, this one is hard to like see what's going on in the actual picture. Like just like try to make it as small as possible and see like can is this can you still see what's going on? That's what I do. Um, this guy has a window behind him, which is uh, difficult. Okay. Um, just a pro tip if you're out there, you don't ever want to have a like a like a window behind you when you're filming because this is this is what it looks like. It just. There's a this is this is what a window behind you does when you're filming. So you always want the window in front of you on your face, like this, and not not behind you, like this. Because it will typical if your if your camera's like on auto, which is, I, I assume most of it most of you guys use like automatic cameras, it's gonna compensate and it's gonna darken the front. So just a just a pro tip there. Yeah, you want the window facing you like this, not behind you like that. Um, okay, let's go to let's go to the next one. Videos, day in the life of a software engineer. Okay, all right, let's let's we'll go for it. Whoops. Hey, look at that. 6.30. I could get up now, or I could go to bed for 10 more minutes. Yeah, let's do that. Midwest edition. <laughs> hey, guys. My name is Kenny, and the I'm editing a software is engineer. Good. I'm pretty much a really big deal, so today I wanted to take you through a day in my life. All right, let's go. Where's this music? And then, then you gotta leave, then you gotta come back and get the camera, then you gotta get your drone, and then put it to hover level, and then get in your car, and pretend to drive away, and then j drive just out of frame, and park the car, land the drone. Uh, 
I like it. What camera you got? Looks good. Look at this is a professional. Uh, first of all, okay. All right. Look, this is actually this is pretty dope right here. I think I know what you're doing. Uh, I think you're filming this on a drone, and you're having it move backwards, and you added sound effects afterwards. Like these aren't these aren't like your actual footsteps. You added sound effects, and this is a drone. Am I right? You have a drone? Yeah, I have, I have one. It's pretty dope. Daily stand up. There's a lot of editing in this. Good morning, everyone. Yo, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Nick. <laughs> All right, so let's just dive into it, I guess. How long does this take you to edit, dude? You guys do you guys do your stand up on a on Slack voice? Like I didn't dude Slack voice is like barely functional. This is actually pretty dope. You're stuck again, aren't you? Well, you know what to do. This is too true. I think this is too true for yeah, this is way too true. And I had to do something else. Just never code. I gotta know, did you, uh... Are you using a tripod for this? Or a gorilla pod? Lunchtime already? Wow, this day sure is going by pretty fast. Let's see what my coworkers are up to. They usually love getting lunch with me. Hi, can I do a crunch wrap Oh, the J cut is real. Do it. Thank you. Got the Taco Bell. Okay, I have a I have a question. Uh is this is this on a Saturday? Cuz there's no one there. It's like is this on an actual work day? Cuz I didn't see anyone in the office moving around at all. With the slow mo chew. What a great lunch. Well, time to get back to work. This yeah, is so much editing, dude. Code again. That's literally my job. Thoroughly Are impressed. You gonna remind me every time I sit down. All right, let's do this. Yes, on a Sunday. Ha! <laughs> Got the, got the time lapse. But you don't want to time lapse too long because it's a Sunday and you want to go home. Got the drone follow. Hey, hold on, Kenny. We since we're since we're memeing here, I've I've got a question. Where's the uh, I need to know the lifting part. I got a question. How come you have the weights so that we can't see how much you're lifting, bruh? These could be 35s. These could be 80s. I feel like if you were a true douchebag, like, like when we all are in the gym filming ourselves, we would show the number to be like, look at how much weight we're lifting. So I'm just curious how much you're lifting here. Can't see it. God, 
That's so toxic. An alarm every minute. <laughs> oh, that was good stuff, dude. That was high quality. See, the thing is, like, if you could get this to 10 minutes, if you could get this to 10 minutes, YouTube would prioritize the, like, it would get pushed harder, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I would have maybe, you know, like, maybe got some scotch tape and just put, like, 200 pounds on each dumbbell. Really add to it. Here, go watch it yourselves. Sub, please. Go, yeah, go sub. This is great. 150 subs. How come you didn't ask for any subs anywhere in the video? So as much as, as, much as it feels cringe, you've got to do it, or people don't do it, because people just forget. Look at all these comments, dude. This is hilarious. This is this is high quality. Subscribe, thumbs up, smashed, double smash. Really, really let them know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Go sub. Good editing, good music. This is a lot of effort. How long? How long did that? Did it take you to edit? I'm curious. Also, let's talk. Uh, let's talk thumbnail for a second. So, um, I don't know if you guys watch MKBHD, but he did a phone comparison where he took like a blind phone test for all the different phones for the year. And uh, he was like, which photo looks best? And at the end of the day, like he took a photo of the same thing every single time. And the audience ended up picking the photo that was brightest. So... Always try to keep your thumbnails bright, is what I'm saying. Uh, for like, I think this one is a little bit is a little bit dim. So let's like, let's download the thumbnail real quick. I'll show you what I mean. Really, it's not gonna just download it. No, nope, doesn't want to work. Okay, so I would take this and I'd brighten it up. That's a little bit overexposed. Dehaze it a little bit. Brighten up just a little bit more. And like right there. So here's before. Oh, really? History's not going to work? Okay. Well, so here's the two side-by-sides. Like this. You guys tell me. Let me make this one a little smaller. Yeah. So we got after, before. See the difference? Maybe add some color in there if you wanted. Try to try to always think about your thumbnails from a mobile perspective from like a uh, phone. A major if you go look at your analytics, I bet a majority of your traffic. The one on the left is too saturated. Yeah, you wanna oversaturate because YouTube removes a bit of your saturation when you upload. Looks like a vampire from Twilight. I mean, everyone loves this angle. Everyone loves like the laptop open, Coffee, looking serious. Got these Peter McKinnon background lights. All right. That's what I would do. That's what I do in terms of thumbnail for that video. Hopefully this is 
helpful. This I don't I don't expect this stream to get like any views because everyone's just here to talk code, but I think this is like real value here. It's all good. Thanks for being here. Um all right. What else we got? You can't do that anymore, folk. People's phones are dimmed down. True. This is good. This is good. Uh, I can't actually read what you what you're showing, so that's kind of like. Oh, let me zoom in for you guys. I can't actually read what's on the card. Like you're you're showing me something, but it's blurred. Yeah, I mean it looked really good. It was definitely good. High quality. Eight months ago. One stop overexposed and some contrast works wonders. That that's facts. Um yeah, I need this needs to be ten minutes. It was just too short. But the title is Yeah. Part two when you get promoted or start a new job day in the life of a senior software engineer. You should just make yourself the CTO. You should just fake it. And no one would even know. I'm pretty sure you could just say, I'm a 25-year-old CTO, and I worked my way up from junior developer to CTO within a span of three months. And everyone be, would be like, wow, how did you do that? And you could just lie and be like, buy my course. And they would, because I guess that's the dream. Applied to Lambda, just reading so many horror stories. Um, if you go to Reddit and read about any boot camp, you'll read horror stories. Reddit hates everything. So if that's what you're reading it, Reddit even hates me. Okay. Who else? I like this. I like this up here. That's 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 dope. Relatable. Being a software engineer is hard. <laughs> yeah, these are these are high quality. You gotta make more, dude. Go sub. You just add as a millionaire. Yeah, that that'll do it. You just put. I'm moving back in with my parents. Here's a. That's the channel. Reddit hates Reddit. Yeah, that's true. Alex says, "Check out my channel, bro. We got you. Let's jump on in." Are we lifting? Is this a lifting channel? Welcome to my channel. Four months ago, 1.54k subs. Nice, dude. What's this all about? Two 2020 push-ups. 2020, P please listen. All right, so here, here's, um, here's why you don't put text on the right side of a thumbnail. Because when I mouse over it, you see how it says, please listen? When I mouse over it, I have watch later and add to queue. So that gets blocked. So you try not to put text on the on the right side of the thumbnail. You just keep it on the left over here. Same thing for this. Pro tip. So try to keep your text top left. 2019. Goodbye 2019. Yeah, I noticed a lot of uh, text on the right. really obsessed about every little thing in editing yeah just remember every time you spend an extra 20 minutes to get that little laugh that 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 you think needs to be there just remember you're you're the only one that's going to see it like you you try to put jokes and memes in it and then like no one ever notices so it's like just remember every 1000 percent effort you put the audience is only going to notice like two percent because they're just there for the story okay let's watch Welcome, welcome to the first video of 2020. I think, okay, this could be, this could be edited somewhat. As you see, I have a dog with me, all right? 
and he's heavy. This is 55 minutes. I need to see what you're doing. Are you just doing? Oh, you're just doing literally 2,020 push-ups. Wow. I'm weak. Um, I would maybe start it off like, like Mr. Beast with like some dramatic music and then put, it's the year 2020 and I'm doing 2,020 pushups and then you get a million views. So that is what I would do for a video like this, doing 2020 pushups. Probably. Uh... This is like, this is such clickbait. I think it went like, um, I, I, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it didn't reach its full potential because let's add, let's, let me add like some dramatic music real quick. Uh, here, look, I'll show you guys what I'm, how I find music. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, you you could, like, speed up the video part, but 55 minutes for a video, ain't nobody got time, 55 minutes to watch you do 2,000 push-ups. Unless they wanted to literally scrub through to make sure that you did all 2,000, which is what Mr. Beast did. He, he did, like, a video where he read every word in the dictionary or something, and it's, like, hours and hours long, and you could scrub through and see that he didn't, like cut the video at all so there's something maybe you should consider there but what is this yeah 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 here we go like right like like, like this or something I thought I wanted to say right. not bad right Something like that, and then you would play you doing the push-ups really, really quickly or something. Something like that. What, what's, what is this? Oh, this house music now. Um, so that's, I don't know, for that video, that's what I would do. Let's go back. I do podcast episodes about personal development. Do you think I should make a separate channel for that? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Maybe later. Not now. A stream would have made sense. Mm -mm. Yeah, that would be cool because then you know you'd have to prove it. Because right now you could just cut the push-ups out. You could you could you could do a jump cut. That's like okay, I did a hundred push-ups. Now I'm at a thousand push-ups. When in reality you you didn't. You played that music exactly for real. No, you didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell. It's, it's it's hard. What is this channel about? Just bodybuilding or Hmm. For for these colors on your thumbnail, they're kind of hard to read. Kai, you're a mod now, so you can just delete stuff. Hmm. Yeah, this is really hard to read. I mean, what do you guys in the chat think? Like, I think that this, these colors are very difficult to read. And then if you make it small, it just gets, it just gets harder. Uh, yeah, I prefer to just like go with black and white or just do what Tech Lee does or just put a black background, white text. I decided to train every day for five years. Shouldn't you, shouldn't you give your body a chance to rest? Or are you just going to keep tearing down muscle?
I think the main thing on this is thumbnails. But it's consistent, so that's good. Five minutes, five minutes. Try to get your videos to 10 minutes, unless you really don't want to fluff it up. Oh, you got a live stream. This this thumbnail color is, is kind of hard to read. This this is also kind of hard to read. Just keep it simple, I guess. You're trying to make the text really bright and clickable, but it's very uh, it's too much, I think. Yeah. All right, let me see who else we got. Ruben, stop spamming. There's someone who said, do my channel next. Bro, I copied your description. My, what? Let's look. Oh, nice. I just, you can go to Emojipedia to get these emojis. That's what I did. Nice, dude. That'll work. Cool. You should reach out for like some sponsorship for some protein powders or something. You have a thousand subs. Decent. Who are we doing? Hopefully that helps, man. I would say just simplify your thumbnails a lot more and make the text readable. Don't go for like brighter and more neon. It does the it's the opposite effect. When you're the one in the Photoshop application making it, you're like, oh, this is so everyone's gonna click this. It's so bright and obnoxious. But it's not. It's really hard to read actually. Talk about tags. Um tags are rough. I mean it's all based on it's all based on view time. It's all watch time. Tags just make you come up in the search results. But watch time is what puts you in the recommended. Interman, you're welcome, dude. Did I miss anything? Hashtags are okay. I've, I haven't found much luck with hashtags. I just put mine just because why not? Uh, Josh, shouldn't you refrain from getting into cheap brands when you're a small channel? I think if they want to send you some protein powder and you're like, hey, this these people gave me protein powder. Go check it out if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not like, this is the best protein powder I've ever had. And you're assuming it's a cheap brand. Maybe they are, they don't have to pay him. They could just send him or give him a discount even, you know? Still making a billion dollars a year? I, me? Yeah, I don't. All right, let's do it. Oops, wrong one. I'm actually with another video. Uh, today I wanted to synthesize nylon, so here we go. So I'll start with adding about five milliliters of hexamethylene diamine. And on top of that, I'm gonna uh, Where's this music from? I don't want to play the music if it's kind of demonetized. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I just don't know what you're doing. You need to like chemistry can a lot of people get lost quick. With a lot of a lot of words in there. I would maybe take the coolest part of this chemistry and uh, put it at the beginning. Maybe like the put the end product of what you made at the beginning to be like, all right, guys, this is what we're making. Whatever this is, it looks pretty cool. I would maybe put something like this in the thumbnail because I don't know what it is and it makes me want to click to find out what it is. Yeah, like what is this? 
Like, what is that? This is super cool. I just don't know what I'm looking at. It's maybe a little bit too zoomed. But I would, yeah. I, you know what I would rename this? I would maybe rename this, like, making Spider-Man web in real life or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, that would get clicks. Like, like if you made this the thumbnail, like, here, and then you titled it Spider-Man web in real life, you know, and then you put a picture of Spider-Man in the thumbnail, that would get clicks. People would be like, oh, what? What is that? And then all of a sudden, so nylon rope. Dope. See, that's super dope. And then you talk about it, right? Have you ever wanted, you got you to gotta relate it to something that people can understand. So superheroes is a good one. That would be my two cents on this. You know, using chemistry to better understand your heroes. Did you know that Spider-Man's web is actually nylon rope or something? I don't know. That's, that's my two cents for this video. But I would try to put something like this in the beginning to be like, oh, what is that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, you got to capitalize on, on what's relevant. What else we got in here? Swifter React, brah. Nope, not this stream. What is this? Okay. Live stream number count is dropping. Yeah, I mean, people don't watch my channel to learn how to do YouTube. They watch to corporate cringe, I guess, but this is, I'm afraid to play it because I don't want to get demonetized. Let's see. This is pretty cool. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at. I feel like I'm watching a, like, Blue Planet on Netflix or something. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is, this is interesting stuff. But maybe cut you in there a little bit more, talking about what this is, what's going on. And maybe back back the camera angle up a little bit. Yeah, large live streams are the worst, that's, that's true. I mean, they get a little overwhelming and I just get really focused on what's going on. And I, like, I don't know. It's not, it's not me, it's like not my complete personality when there's so many people and I'm just shooting out answers to questions. I'm watching to learn though. Um, well, there's, what's, what's that one channel that he did the glitter bomb who was that? Rob, I think. What was his name? Mark Rober. Yeah, Mark Rober. Try to try to make your chemistry videos like Mark Rober. That's how I would do education. And if you're still here and you're still watching, try to look at how he structures his videos and then do them do them in a similar fashion. Could you review my Twitch channel? Uh yeah, we could try. Be in fitness. Yeah, dude, let's hop on over right now. Let's do it review the channel bro like i have holy crap hold, hold on chat can we just take a minute to appreciate this channel i've never seen anything like this before wow this is amazing i don't understand why you don't have as much subs as pewdiepie i'm just blown away Um, I'm watching because I'm at Starbucks and why not? Yeah, what's the Twitch channel? Soup? Can you review my TikTok? I don't, I'm not, I'm not a TikTok pro. I don't want to do it. Check out my channel since you're doing game dev this year. Let's do it. Tips for, tips for starting as a 3D artist. Channel update. Channel update two. One second. Check out the videos. Yeah, dude, I've never seen it. I've never seen I've never seen a YouTube channel so strong before. I don't know what this is. So are you using three element three D here? To the channel. This is a new format of videos that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just going to rumble a little bit. Um, okay, again, a window in the background. Try to like reverse this setup. Off script 
and give a little advice if you are an artist or maybe you're a programmer sometimes it works the same way for both and you wanted to get to the place where I'm at right I'm now. just scrubbing through to see if there's any other advice camera angles or people wanted to get into the industry it's usually advice for big companies like if you what microphone are you using are you using this microphone in the background um, here's the pro tip for for audio devices you want to get the microphone this far like this is this is optimal distance for microphones so thumb pinky about six inches you can get closer but you know about right here Dude, you don't want to go any further than this and any closer you risk like peaking look at my old videos mostly tutorials okay Yeah, so it's it's behind you. You should be kind of like speaking into it. Let's go back. What if I have 10 inch fingers? Well, I mean, I guess, I don't, what would that be like this? If you have 10 inch fingers, bro, you probably had like a third leg. and welcome back in this video what I want to share with you guys is how I run what is this what program is this 3ds max 50 minutes long oh my goodness uh, just be careful once you start getting in the realm of like 20 minutes 30 minutes max I would think about how you could cut this video really far away. Going to bring it solo one night video with just a pack <laughs> Um, okay, Jacob. It can be a pain. Looks cool. Like, the character's pretty dope. Um, there's a channel called... There's a channel called One Minute Blender Tutorials. He makes One Minute Blender Tutorials, basically. I mean, they're kind of ridiculous, but if you watch, it's literally everything that you're doing compacted into one minute and if you pause like every frame you can see what to do i mean not don't make it that ridiculous but go look it up one minute blender tutorials there there are look we'll just watch one how about that one minute blender he's actually he's pretty funny too so if you're gonna do like tutorials you could maybe consider this style uh oh okay it's called he he renamed his channel then there's one with like papers Here's one. Add pipes, make a curve, and model it into kind of a pipe shape. In the curve properties, turn up the bevel, maybe the resolution. In edit mode, alt click an edge loop, then go shift E, mark seam. Select all the faces and hit U, unwrap. Bam, but it's all squiggly. There's an amazing add-on called UV squares. One click and it's all in the grid. Now when you create a new material and add an image texture, everything plays nice. Now it gets fun. Model the geometry to match the image texture. Add edge loops, scale stuff up, scale stuff down. You can select face loops and texture them independently in the UV editor. That blue dot's weird. So the thing, like you guys are talking about Joe Rogan. Um, Joe Rogan is Joe Rogan, okay? So Joe Rogan is also already well known before he got on YouTube. So if you're trying to start from nothing, you have to consider that aspect. Joe Rogan can command people's attention because everyone knows Joe Rogan. It's hard to do that when no one knows who you are Joe my buddy Rogan okay um, but he has a three-hour podcast that's right um, for sure but he also has well-known people on his podcast which you know he does a good job at interviewing it's it's different he's not doing a three-hour tutorial if Joe Rogan was doing a three-hour tutorial it would be funny for the first couple times but I don't think people would watch okay so here you go add some loops extrude it out and it's a weird fan module make it a bulgy pipe Duplicate a loop, extrude it out, and pull down a couple faces. It's a pipe mount. You can tweak the material in the shader editor. Maybe more metallic. Try feeding the image into the roughness and controlling it with a color ramp. Nice. Do it all again. And again. And again. Look at you. You're the pipe lord now, making making all the <laughs> pipes all the time. You're Everything's the pipe pipes. Lord. What's even in those pipes? You don't know. Do you? See? That's it. One minute. One and done. And he does a bunch of tutorials like that. And this dude has gone from... 
I think he had like 10,000 subs to 136 fairly quick. Um, so you could maybe think about it like that. Because then people can watch that aren't only interested in the tutorial. How often is this done? I don't know. I don't do it that often because it doesn't... It doesn't really uh, get a lot of uh, views or attention. Even I though model some sort of fish. I watch. like to set up an orthographic camera and model some background image. So that when I'm done, I can create an image texture and just hit U, project from view, and it sticks. In the shader editor, I usually just feed the image textures into some of the inputs for roughness and normal maps and stuff. You might have to use a color ramp node to dial it in a little bit. Not bad. Animate him swimming forward. Let's give him life. Displacement modifier. Wow. Wow, it's perfect. No, add a texture. <laughs> now it's perfect. No, make the coordinates global and the direction Z. Let's call this little swooshes. In the texture editor, make little swooshes a cloud texture. The scale of the noise adjusts the frequency of its flips. Dial it in a little bit. Tweak the strength of the displacement modifier so it works. Do it all again. Displacement, new texture, global coordinates, Z direction, big ol' swooshes. Make the big ol' swooshes cloud scale way bigger and increase the modifier intensity to make him swoopy. Nice. Now the cool part. Duplicate Mr. Fish, delete his animation curve, and just parent him to the original fish. Duplicate scale, duplicate, bam, you got a, you got a school of fish. Put him in your rich grandma's house. She'll finally be impressed. See? Like, it's just, uh, you don't have to make it one minute, but as you can see, they're, they're watchable. See, I have no desire to build games, but I'd watch this. Yeah, exactly. So I'm all some sort of fish. Uh, you can think about that when you go with the tutorial aspect, because it's just entertaining and it's funny, right? Like, put them in your rich grandma's house; she'll finally be impressed. And it's like, oof, hits hits close to home, you know? Okay, mind checking me out. Yeah, dude, let's do it. I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch this. This looks like this looks like a copyright strike and a demonetization waiting to happy. Uh, waiting to happy. Waiting to happen. Yeah. Um, not sure. I mean it looks like you're doing just fine. Whatever happened to Bunk? We don't know. Actually, no, you can go watch Leon Lush. He did a video on what happened to Bunk. I'm not gonna watch these. Blender Guru is a great example. Blender Guru's videos are a lot longer. Yeah, you could you could toss these kinds of things, like these cool Blender animations into TikTok where the OCD is real. Read the titles. I did read the titles. What what about? You want to see another game dev? Let's do it, dude. Welcome to the Turbo Mix game. Well, what music do you have? Is this epidemic sound or am I going to get am I going to get a strike for this or Oh, Jacob. Oh. How did I forget? You're right. Good. Thanks for reminding me. Erica. No! I'm going <laughs> to auto play videos. All right. Solo one night camping trip. Let's do it, dude. All copyright free. Okay. What's up, guys? I'm here in the Sierra National Forest in California. I'm here for a one night camping trip. I just like to share the items that I carry on person and the items I carry in my pack. I think um, for the title, I would just put solo one night camping trip and then remove these words with just a pack and keep that kind of a mystery. Start off, I'm just wearing a feather jacket, a white Oh, also, let's look at your tags real quick. If you have any. Um so a good title that does well for camping trips is called Bushcraft. Um, so if you want to do more camping videos like this, these videos pop off big time. Let me show you. I'll come back to the video in just a sec. Uh, just type Bushcraft and just look at everything in here. So many videos that do well. Like see, building a fort in the woods. Overnight Bushcraft. I mean, he's got 1.3 million subs, but uh, this is the... This is the 
the title that you're going for. So for that video, I would put bushcraft in there. Let me go back. Some blue jeans and some boots. All I got is a wallet, my car keys, a lighter, and a pack of smokes. I know smoking's bad for me, but I'm not a quitter. My pack is a large Alice pack with a metal frame. Uh, it's military surplus. You can find them used on eBay for about 40 bucks. How do you know all this stuff off the top of your head? It's literally my here. entire life. It's, uh, pretty it's my job to know. Compensate for something. And uh, it's Husky's the brand. I bought it at Home Depot. Okay, so I noticed you linked all this stuff. Let's take a look to see if these are affiliate links. Because if these... Are these affiliate links? I can't tell. If these are not affiliate links, go sign up for the Amazon affiliate program. It's free. Anyone can do it. And then get your Amazon affiliate links and put them in here. That's how Linus Tech Tips makes all his money. He makes like 70k a day from Amazon affiliate links alone. Like, not to mention the two sponsors that he tosses in. Oops. That he tosses in um, at the beginning and at the end. Now I'm going to go watch Bushcraft. Yeah. Uh. And I uh, sharpen it up and it works pretty well. It didn't come with the leather sheath. Uh, my Uncle Bubba actually made that for me. Uncle Bubba. Here's the contents of my pack. I got the modular sleep system. It's military surplus. Three layer sleeping bag system. And I got it on eBay used for about 120 bucks. I got this. Is this your phone? Right here. I can't tell. And that was about 20 bucks on Amazon. So one thing I want to notice, uh, want you to notice here too, is uh, look at the subscriber count, 111, versus the view count, 111. This means that you're pulling in people. Uh, like this is a lot. This is a lot of views, man, for for 111 subs. If you ever hit 100% of your sub count, you are not pulling in your subs. You're pulling other people from like uh, outside that that. that that don't know you. So like if you look at my videos, I never get 200,000 views. And when I do, it's when I gain a whole bunch of new people. So this is really good. I would maybe keep doing more of these videos. I got this stainless steel single walled 40 ounce uh, cup. And I got my water in there. I got my mess kit. It's military surplus as well. Got it on Amazon for about 20 bucks. Daily yeah, I would also change it to you know, 16 by 9. To the oh, look. Got the strap. I go to bed, I like to just clean myself off if I'm real dirty. I got this uh, flint and steel right here. Start the fire. I'm it just... a little wet out here. So you're going so through everything. To help me get that. What would be cool is if you um, if you were to tag these in the video with, with like a little title. Like right here, if you were to put, if you were to put like a little title. It says charcoal, the price that you uh, bought it for. And like the brand or something, or maybe like the picture, something like that. Got fire going. Um, got my Israeli bandage. Got a bandage. Let's see. Man up and use my axe. Got the Ruger. Fishing, kicking the dirt around. And you can see it's all set up now. It's pretty got my dope. Sleeping bag all, all ready. Put my jacket in there. I was getting a little warm. Do is go collect that wood. That's and, dope. Uh, I'm gonna try to find a. I think if you added music here, this would have been super... Want to give me feedback on your channel? Yeah, let's do it, dude. What's a good video ad for software? Would you rather see a quick teaser or someone explaining the features? Uh, you want to... Mm. You don't sell the features, you sell the benefits. From From that. Yeah, if you added music and maybe were to just uh, left your phone like while you were cooking or made the fire or whatever and then i mean just just a little editing and this could have gone really far um but another pro tip put your phone into 16 by 9 mode unless it's a tutorial video i would take advantage of nature shots yep yep erica exactly first time being alone out here usually i have my dog with Last time that I came up, there was so many ticks that I felt bad for them, and uh, I didn't bring them this time, but... This is literally just an ASMR video. Like, I can hear the fire crackling in the background. At this high elevation, it seems like, I think I'm at, what, 7,000 feet, 7,500 feet. Um, there's, there's no bugs, because it's going to... It's, it's always bugs up here at the core. 
Um, but dude, this I is quality. Next time I'll bring them along with me. We'll see how it goes. Watch your video. Why hate working for corpse and sub? Dust to dust. Welcome aboard. My fish now. Before it gets dark. Uh, Cooking some fish. Up. Nice. All right. That means it's time for the little Jack. <laughs> but it's gonna be pitch black out here, guys. This is cool. Hey I think uh, maybe get some more up close nature shots and some more far away shots with you in it, rather than just you holding the camera talking to it. Jacob, you have a future as an ASMR star with that fire. <laughs> maybe get a drone. Yeah, this would be. This is a lot of a potential here. I mean, with 111 views, for me, I would use that as motivation to get, like, a legit camera or maybe just, I don't know what phone you have. Maybe the settings weren't right, uh, but this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of views, dude. Um, let's go back. I don't know why you have 80, 86%. Um, you you got to ask for subs. Be like, hey, you want to see more bushcraft? But this is this is really good. You got a happy face and a thumbnail. You're in the nature, like it's good. This looks good. All right, who was next? Where's the corporate cringe for 2020? Well, I, I I'm still thinking about doing corporate cringe awards for 2019. I'm just slow. Yeah, just do less Stroud. Be Survivor, man. You will work your butt off carrying camera gear through the woods. That's true. Digital pain. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Oh, I have one other uh, one other open first, so I'll go there real quick. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about... Why can't I pause this video? Okay. Here is Jacob's channel if you guys want to go check him out. If you guys want to go watch the vid. Um, I would appreciate the feedback. Roger that, dude. You don't have to donate. I was gonna... We're just working towards it. Let me open that up real quick. Please, no autoplay. Sure. Okay, let's look at... Uh, I'll look at these real quick, and then we'll go. We'll jump to yours. James YouTube channel. Can't tell. Um, Again, I think I would just... I would just put your best performing video in here. Turbo makes games. I like the logo. Um, I would maybe put something. Oh, you guys can't see it really. I would maybe put something more gamey in the background, like a nature shot on a game dev channel. Is a little little strange. Just me. Just something I noticed. Got all the links. Looks good. Thirty five percent. I canceled the people get triggered if you go look at Prince Prince gaming uh, he was talking about stadia and how it's trash basically and like everyone's like I totally agree so I don't know why you got 35% there five games all devs must play that's a that's a OG idea I like that that's that's neat doom how to make a twin stick shooter Thumbnails are good. I would maybe let's sort. A lot of haters. Do people get triggered? I can't believe it does this. So take whatever this does and well, it looks like you did. You did it again. This is hard to read. You can't see Firebase for obvious reasons. It's underneath the icons. So again, over here, you can't really read that text because it's underneath the icons. Always keep the text on the left side. I can't really read this at all. There's a lot going on. It's very busy. This one is, I like this thumbnail a lot. I would maybe uh, brighten you up. Actually, let's do that real quick. I'll, I'll get to you, uh, Kieran, just give me just a sec. We'll ultimately succeed. Okay.
Is vidIQ Pro worth it? No. I don't have vidIQ Pro. Never paid for it. This is hard to do because I don't have like the original. I just realized this is a cut off hand. That's not, is it? I can't tell. It looks like your hand is cut off. Mm, I just kind of play with it a little bit. Clarity is good. Dehaze, that up some. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Other than that, I like it. I think this is good. Patrick, what up, dude? So let's look at the this is the difference. So before, after. See how you can see people people general uh, they generally go for faces more, and in this photo your face is kind of it's kind of cloudy. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but uh, people like their, people's brains are wired to look at faces. So in this, you can see your face way more than this. It looks a little cloudy. Just what I would do. So if you didn't, if you want to know what I did exactly, um, you can click on the image and you come up here to filter and then go to camera raw filter. And then you get all the Instagram filters, basically. You All this stuff over here, like texture, you can up the texture and clarity and it makes it like super sharp, makes the image pop out. We're doing it again, so it's like deteriorating the image, but um, yeah, that's what I would do for that. Okay. We'll do it again. It's hard because like I want to watch the videos and analyze the videos, but I want to keep, keep moving, I guess. Digital pain. Okay, let's look at this. Good to know makes a lot of sense. Yeah, just keep your thumbnails super simple. You can have the greatest content in the world, but if you don't have a good thumbnail, people aren't going to click and no one's going to get to your content. You got to think about it like your, your thumbnail is your marketing until you hit the recommended algorithm. So your thumbnail is your baby. It is literally everything. Thumbnail and, and title. Did you work at a face brightening lotioning, lotion company before? Oh, how'd you know? Um, okay. I feel bad about what happened. I don't know what this channel is about. Not sure. Can you give me some hints? I'll come back. Review Crystal's channel. I think I did once. Josh, what about your Twitch channel? You got to link it. All right, let's do Kieran. Let's check it out. 403 subs. Crypto YouTubers ban. Oh, remember Crypto Nick? I remember Crypto Nick. All those Bitcoin, or not Bitcoin, uh, BitConnect people. They're all gone now. Earn staking Ethereum 2.0, nice. All right, should I buy Ethereum? Dude, that's the only thing I own. Okay, let's, let's listen. Should I buy Ethereum now or wait? In this video, I wanna talk about the seven reasons why you should be buying Ethereum in the next few months and so on but please don't take this as financial advice it's just my personal opinion and why i believe that this uh, technology has got a lot of future so let's jump right in into the seven different nice, reasons nice, nice. why if you a good investment we'll go over quick the highlights and the points Mike, i want to go yeah over you, can, video. you can you can ask all, whatever the question technology is new what is uh, the adoption curve understanding where we are on this adoption curve the okay so let me find this video Two weeks ago, I want to see. I want to see what the thumbnail is. Should I buy Ethereum? I would maybe change this thumbnail. Oh, let me zoom in for you guys. Sorry. I would maybe change this thumbnail to be something. Well, maybe put seven reasons to buy Ethereum as this title. But clearly, this worked out for you. Uh, I think numbered like five reasons this or this or or like i think those kinds of titles are, are are clickbaity but they work if you're genuine about it how do you link in chat just like con control v
Big on it, yeah. Yeah, I think if this channel is going to be yours and every video is going to be you talking, you should be in the thumbnail. Brad Traversy disagrees, but because he makes like, I remember he commented, he's like, I don't think that you need to be in the thumbnail. And I was like, I guess, well, you're teaching programming, so people need to see your screen, but people don't need to see your screen in these videos. You're, you're in these videos, so I would be in the thumbnail too. Also, this is too redundant, yeah. You're right. Eslam's right. This is this is basically copy paste job. This is the one on the left is just zoomed in more than the one on the right. I could I could see directly. <laughs> um this is a little bit dark. Why is this so why is this part the brightest? I mean it's your face. It's like the clearest, I guess, but it's it's like the edges are so vignetted. I did. I don't see it. What else do we got in here? Nine life-changing habits. I don't think center titles do very well. I think top left or top... <laughs> Techly does his titles. Top right, dude gets bazillion views video. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, so again, text and stuff on the right side. Keep it on the left side because when I mouse over, it gets hidden. I can't even read unknown what? What's that say? Let me mouse over again. See, that's just too much work. Brad didn't want to be on camera. He was kind of, yeah, he's better. Is it better thirty minutes or split to two minute video or two split in two videos? Don't do, don't do don't split one video into two videos. I think that's kind of like it seems like you're trying to game the algorithm a little bit. And let's just do one thirty minute video with timestamps. Just be be nice to your viewers and give them timestamps and be like, this is what I talk about. This is what I talk about. This is what I talk about. Um. Unless you have like a podcast, like Joe Rogan has a clips channel and H3H3 podcast has a clips channel where you just post highlights, then then you can split a podcast into highlights. But if you were splitting a 30 minute video, just because it's too long, just put timestamps. What extensions do you use? Uh, what is this? VidIQ. I don't even have VidIQ Pro. I don't, I don't pay for this. Would, actually, I think I did pay for it once, and I tried to cancel it, and they like there's no way to cancel it other than sending an email and asking for them to cancel it. And it took them like three days to do it, and my thing renewed. And I was like, this is why I was trying to cancel it, so it didn't renew, because I was not impressed with the pro features. And then I was like, yeah, so um, I put this in before. It renewed, so give me my money back, please. Thank you. And they were like, well, how about a discount? And I was like, no, give me my money back. See you, Craig. Have a good one, dude. I put my face on every single thumb and views increase 30% quickly. It works. Yeah, I mean, it's your channel. It's your, if, if the channel is your name and the videos are you talking, you should be in the thumbnail, I think. I was so scared with my last video. Uh, here, let me, let me show you. What? Oh, look, that's me. Yeah, I was really scared to do this because I never do this. I never put someone else or uh, on my channel at all. I was like, the views weren't doing very good at first, <laughs> so I was I was like freaking out that it wasn't gonna work. But it's still it's a face, just someone someone else's face. Uh, okay. Unless I care about who you are, I will not follow a link to a second video. Jessica, it's, it's facts. Good idea with the face. Yep. So this is just kind of like a Bitcoin news channel. That's cool. Should I buy a few? Um, I have a question. Did you add a post effects handheld? Because I'm pretty sure this is on a tripod and you added handheld. Like look at the, look at the video slightly and I can see it swaying to give it that more organic look. What do you think I should do about the goggles while out in public? I think that you should take the one one glove off your hand and take the goggles off and just be like, hey, you want to interview with me? Like, you want to draw some stuff? Just be like, I don't know. If I saw someone approaching me and I couldn't see his face, like it was obscured somehow and I, it's like he looks like a character, then I'm going to be a little bit like, well, what's, what's, what's going on? 
it's nothing like it doesn't mean it's wrong or like it's bad i just think about it from their perspective you see some guy coming up with like full full glasses on and walking up to you and you can't see their face it's almost like someone that has a hood on you know they're obscured somehow okay really yeah so you added tuning in First added of all, the handheld effect every new subscriber and all the nice comments i had on the last video in this video we'll be going to look at what is staking we're also going to be looking at how ethereum will move from the proof of work uh, protocol to the proof of 24 minutes long um i don't know if you were here for the for the one minute blender tutorials but if you're going to do knowledge drop tutorials like this think about make edit your video once take a break come back and remove 40 percent people kill the stabilizer videos and my boy is out here destabilizing yeah that you can you can do that to tripod shots and uh, make it look organic but when you like look at this jump cut here you can see if you add this effect and then you jump cut a bunch you get these just look you can see it's handheld and then and all the nice and then the camera the shifts video. in this video we'll be going to look at what is staking during the jump cut see now you're looking at this lower chest and now your upper chest so i don't know of stake protocol understanding what this is a is lot of space to understand what proof of stake is or maybe hi highlight what you're talking about with your mouse at least Comparing i do that proof of work against proof of stake Pretty sure Think Media does that too. Would love for you to check out the channel. Let's do it, dude. Does this help you? Has have have these tips been helpful? Titles are fine. I mean, I'm not like crypto expert or anything. This is a really long title. I can tell you that. Be part of the team, dude. I want to be part of the team. Oh, you got timestamps. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, pin this as a comment. I don't know if you did that, but just boop. And then come down here and pin those timestamps as a comment so people know. And just timestamps and then paste it in and pin. Okay. This thumbnail reminds me of like Prince Gaming. Nine months of podcasting, my experience. I wonder why 89%. That's interesting. I'll try to use these tips. Yeah, man. Gonna get back to work. Still have to stream on in the background. Shout if you need anything. Roger that. Thanks for being here. Yes, definitely helpful. Okay, cool, cool. I know what it's like to be the little guy. I'm telling you guys things that I wish someone would tell me. We could like I maybe I should just take one of these videos and like recut it, but I I don't think people want to watch me do that on stream. It's a little bit tedious. People are like do code streams. I'm like I'm not sure <laughs> you want to watch that. It's because it's tedious. Okay, let's let's look at this one. Is this okay. just a We're just recording? Alrighty, this is uh -huh. exciting. This is ner <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I know I am too. It didn't really actually hit me that I was <laughs> <laughs> okay anyways uh welcome to another one june marks the ninth did you did you did you steal gary v's like odd uh, like audio branding that's the gary v snap i heard that <laughs> <laughs> okay anyways uh welcome to another one right th this another is one. that's the june gary v the that's the gary v branding snap you better be careful if he finds out about that, I, I actually don't know what he would do, but I'm I'm dead certain that is. You want to see a code stream? Uh, I don't really. Yeah, it's not fun for me. Like I would do game dev, but even then I wouldn't code. I would just probably use blueprints because it's quicker and more pragmatic for me. You caught me. Take off. My experience. I mean, yeah. at least you know that the the audio branding is a thing because I recognize it from Gary V. What I've learned during my time podcasting. So we initially came up with the idea to start a podcast when my best friend and I were parked in this famous parking lot in Calgary. And as you do when you're parked in a parking lot with... Bro, we got storytelling, but we can't... 
We can't see you. You should cut back and forth between this and uh, you. That would be very good. I find most storytelling videos do well when you splice in the B-roll to give context to the story, but people want to look at people when they're telling a story. With a nice view of the city, you kind of fall into these Nintendo Switch deep sound, conversations. Yeah. And, you know, at the time, we didn't really have anything going on. It was just school and work. That was the only routine, really. And it just kind of came up out of nowhere. We are just like, why don't we start a podcast? And really, that's how it began. The first thing we needed to decide on was the name. And after some extensive brainstorming, we came up with the name Another One. The meaning behind this name comes from the oversaturation of podcasting culture right now. You know, everyone kind of has a podcast and this is just us making fun of that. And it's kind of funny because we picked the name before we even knew what the show would be about. We didn't really have a niche. Our selling point right now is just, you know, two close friends talking about anything There's, and everything. You're not in here at so all. So at this point, we're ready to record our first episode. We used my little brother's Blue Yeti microphone, which is a great microphone, but if you're trying to start a podcast yourself, I would recommend looking into a studio mic and a mixer. It just makes the editing a lot easier down the road. We didn't really know what to talk about for our first episode, so we had the idea of pulling up this wiki list on... This is pretty dope. I feel like this is a lot of editing, and so not only when if you cut to yourself, like... Ugh. Wrong one. If you cut to yourself talking, um, to the telling the story like in front of a camera, and you cut between, you could cut down on your editing. But this is a lot of editing to tell a story in just straight. Just like this is a lot of editing, um, and you could cut down on that and save yourself some time by just talking to the camera. What is that purple VS Code Insiders? This. So I have VS Code, and then I have uh, like the the IDE, like the Big Boy Edition for C plus. This is Visual Studio, basically. Honestly, I'd listen to that. Nope. Steps to start a podcast, which we thought was a pretty cool idea, and you know, I, I don't think it's that bad. Quality's a little iffy, but it's our first time. We finish recording, things go well, and now I'm ready to take the file and throw it in Audacity. So after about 30 minutes of editing and just tightening everything up, we're now ready to upload. For our streaming partner, we ended up choosing Audio Boom, which for $10 a month, it allowed us to upload directly to iTunes and Spotify. What about Anchor? Maybe you should go through the other options and be like, well, you have a few options when you want to host a podcast. You could use Anchor, which will cross post, and you could use what you use, which will cross post and um, talk about maybe why you chose that over the other ones? I had just recorded my first podcast ever with one of my best friends, and Andrew, I was excited to put relax, it out man, there, we'll get there and to share it with everyone. Aaron, yeah, dude. And I mean, you can definitely tell that it was our first time podcasting. But you know what? Without further ado, here's yeah, it's a lot of editing for someone that's going to listen to this. Another one. Let's name the channel. Anonymous you guest. Know, we're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> I got made fun of so bad by my, by Sydney, because I go. I always thought it was two peas in a pot. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, so you put peas in a pot, right? Fair enough. Actually, that's why. I, that's why fair, I thought. It was when was the pot. last time you actually had, like, peas in, in a, a pot. pod? Oh my god, dude! At your mom's. Remember when I ate? Them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a funny story. <laughs> so we're definitely getting. Okay. And over the next nine months, we would use Andrew, it to make little bits and just kind of engage the listener. Stardate Captain's Log, 2018-1215. We're just entering the planet of Mars. We're entering the, uh, the, the, the orbit there. It looks like we're getting a little bit of gravitational pull. I've decided to make this, this is literally just like ASMR podcast. Plan. Pretty cool. But so we go back to the storytelling. Not just starting something. And really, that's kind of what I took from the whole podcasting experience. You know, you were there every week to just talk and finish and edit and upload. And then if people saw it, awesome. If they check out the Nintendo vid, baby girl. Yeah, dude. Uh, can't. Does it have like super copyright? I. Just, uh, I don't want to get. 
It's so risky. <laughs> Super Smash. Online video presentations organized and produced this by is dope. Nintendo. Beginning in Japan and North America in late Oh, com commentary channel. Yeah, you got this is good, to dude. Inform consumers of upcoming content such as new games or consoles. Later, dude. First 3D version of Mario Kart. After many acclaim, the presentations later expanded to audiences in Europe, Australia, and South Korea. As of February 2019, there have been 137 Nintendo Directs, so it's simple to say that it's definitely one of the most anticipated video game occasions of the past decade, and many are starting to argue that it's starting to overshadow E3. The number one question being asked after explaining this is, how? How did Nintendo market a video game presentation that would eventually become a staple in its respected industry? It all comes down to hype culture. Hype culture is everywhere nowadays. Hype culture? From you should talk about hustle culture. Hustle culture. I'd rather, I'd rather, what is it? Uh, I'd rather like hustle 24-7 and slave 9 to 5. It's like, we get it. We get it, dude. We get it. Like, I agree, but, bruh. Content about Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo is really, like, uh, very copyright sensitive. You have to apply to be, like, a Nintendo partner just to stream their games, I think. Who else was, who else, who else were we doing here? Solid soup on Twitch. Yeah, shoot, sure, let's do it. Going to sleep, it's already 2 a.m. All right, dude, have a good one. Let's check out Twitch. I feel like I feel like I just want to end the stream and go watch Kit Boga now. If you guys don't know who Kit Boga is, please Go watch Kid Boga. It's the most hilarious thing. All I want in my life is to do a collab as Herbert from Family Guy with Kid Boga. That's all I want. All right, let's look at this. You can go sub to my Twitch. I'm going to do game dev over there. Content is low-key garbage. You don't have to donate. I will get there, sir. What are the chances that some website I come across is vulnerable to something like a SQL injection? And I can get into to freelance white hat hacking. Uh, you'll you'll need to have like a contracting job for that. You're looking for something like cyber analyst or something. Go uh, uh, live overflow does that for a living. Thanks for looking at my stuff, dude. Yeah, sure. Trend Black is here. Do me. No, if I do Trend, then he'll do my channel in a video. He'll put he'll put the worst. The worst of, uh, what, will, what would you say, Trent? You'd probably be like, the most jealous dev ever, right? And then you put my face in. Josh is a piece of crap. He could never work at Google or something like that. My name is Unity, and I'm watching your Disney channel. What? I'm 18 from Minnesota. Donate, do it, do it. I mean, this looks fine. Do you have any VODs? Was this, we just see us go, I guess. What up, Trent? What up? He's the uh, the Greek god, right? He's like Ziz, the new Ziz, the worst of software devs, probably. You're reviewing Twitches. I mean, I don't I, like. I'm not a professional Twitch streamer, but video content is video content, kind of. I donated three bucks, but it's not a lot, but it's something, babe. That's strange, but okay, thanks. Um, is it more favorable to start YouTube with an alias instead of a real life name? It's up to you. Like, what do you want to be known for? Do you want to be, kn uh, it's, it's hard to say. So we're, we're 420 in programming, 420 in programming. I would take that, that, take that out of your title and Take part one, two, and three, and four, and five out of the title as well. 
because it makes people feel like they can't watch. Trash talking is so 2019. Maybe. Google hates this man. Who's let's 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 ask Trent who's next? Who's next on the chopping block? I'm curious. I'd be careful with with uh, token the 420 on stream on YouTube. They don't like that. Like substances in general, they don't like. So be careful. This might be a lot. This might be a lot of work. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just chill and you don't care. But if you ever wanted to convert this to something later and you have these types of videos, uh, I'd be wary. Senior stream while watching Kiboga only to come here and then go watch Kiboga. Dude, that's complete Kiboga. Dude, all I want to do, like, let me do Kit, like, let me do Kit Boga's job for a day. Um, you should be in these thumbnails, I think. Let's let's look at how botnets work. What is going on, guys? Today we're going to be learning how uh DDoS attacks actually work how botnets work how stuff like that works so today um, i'm just going to be explaining um tcp udp i'm going to be explaining um dusty protocols i'm going to be explaining how botnets work and i'm going to be explaining um why these attacks do what they do um you should just do more fitness videos so yeah well, not, not just fitness more videos more but you more like more when i watched uh when I watched your vids, like when the part when you go to the gym, you put so much work into editing there. Like I could tell that was the most fun part of making the video for you is when you went to the gym. So TCP. Okay, so you should definitely make some gym vids. Let me let me let me come over to you and we'll both go to the gym and we'll make a video. Trim black and Josh lift weights. Let's do that. Thoughts? We can make it a documentary. Um, this is going to be the target. Okay, now with TCP. I want to send you data. I'll send you a packet, and this packet will be a this is like CN packet. Okay, watching really old school YouTube videos. Synchronized now. What is Paint Net? That's interesting. Hmm. Any anyone got ideas for photographer TikTok content? You can either be super unique or teach. I would probably cut this up a little bit. Look at those graphics. <laughs> we can't pick like this is actual valuable content. It's fine. I'm not sure why you have so many thumbs down. Let's do it. Weighted chin ups for days. I don't know what your uh, what your routine looks like, but I mostly live for strength and then diet. Diet's my everything for being shredded. Uh, I don't really train for hypertrophy. Mostly strength because I'm all natty. So hypertrophy lasts for like 30 minutes while you're in the gym. Got you got the pump while you're in the gym. You look like you're on that non-natty substance, and then you leave the gym and you're deflated again. So I don't really live for hypertrophy. Paint made on the .net. Programmers, I'm all about lifting. Finally, someone else that wants to lift. Let's see, who else? Who else do we got? Teach, thanks, Josh. It's not for me, but I, but she will appreciate that. Sure. I mean, if you don't have good ideas, you can share share your skills with people who who do have good ideas but don't know how to make it. Like that's kind of like what teaching code was for me. Like I don't have this great, fantastic app idea, and I don't really want to work a job coding all day. So I rather teach people that have great app ideas and just don't like don't know how to do it. Do you value your privacy at all? What? Was it, I mean, somewhat. Oh, you mean, you mean like TikTok because it's owned for data collection. Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying.
Okay. New member, do you... All right, let me hit you with the five. The five push-ups, BRB. One sec. Let me uh, put music on, I guess. Thanks for joining, by the way. I'm going to go to the... It's shoulder day after today. As they say... Wait, hold on. If you can't do teach though that sounds bad so yeah the people let me i have to, I have to say this because people say that to me they're like if you, the people who can't do it who aren't good at doing it they teach it and it's like not 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 in all cases people just like helping people like this like my like my dad has all these great ideas and he he doesn't know how to go about doing things so i teach him and that's like really valuable for me because i like you learn a whole lot teaching you learn so much about communication all right let me get you with the five is two buddy worth using eh Hair gel with the three, you can do this, got you. Jessica thirsty much? What? No, Jessica, she's chilled. She's been given good good content, good comments. All right, let me hit you with the five. One second. One moment. Camera about to fall off. All right. All right, sorry. My B. Hmm. Oh, Lentil Beans wants to know, uh, do you believe that you should be teaching if you're only making money via YouTube? Uh, well, basically there's, there's always going to be people learning how to start getting into tech, right? I'm not, I'm not talking about the brand new react features. I'm talking about, this is how you do an interview. <laughs> this is how you apply to a job. Like those are like the fundamentals. It's what I do all day. Oh, what up, Brandon? Uh, and you don't have to be on chapter 10. Or like you don't, let's see. Yeah, you don't have to be on chapter 10 to, to teach chapter one. You only got to be on chapter two. So, yeah. So I think it's perfectly fine to teach. I'm not, I'm not saying like this is algorithms and data structures and like this is a whiteboard interview because I don't do that anymore. All of my coding videos stopped when I stopped doing it for a job. So, you know, I teach the fundamentals of corporate industry and how to make a business and how the laws behind businesses work and taxes and marketing. Like it, it's just a, I don't know, very pro entrepreneurship. Been a long time. What up? The soft skills. Yeah. Live stream while painting a room. I'm renting out. Keep up the great content. Hey, thanks man. Uh, the room has too much light. What happened to the darkness, sir? Yeah, so in, in Clement's video, uh, I didn't have my lights on. I was going to refilm it. He went, like We were going to do it, and then we spent like three hours talking before we started recording, so it was really dark, and I was like, you know what, it's fine. I'll just, just record. <laughs> okay. Did I miss anything? I think I missed. My hustle has to increase because our furnace just went out. Got to pay the bills. Oof. Did you clean the floor today? I mean, I sweep every day. Mike's, uh, can you re-ask the question? I saw it and then I glanced away for a second because I was reviewing a channel. What is your recommendation for someone who wants to be able to do basically any style of content in a comedic manner? You have a few. You could look at like Cody Co. Look at Cody Co. It's just real. It's hard, but it's doable. Cody Co. probably. Should I get a job for a while while starting my own business or before starting? You can start your own business while you have a job. There's really no reason not to have a side hustle ever. T 
teach what you know and you have experience. I mean, I've done, yeah, I've done that. It's a little meta. Some things are a little meta. How's mechanical dad? He just sent me a text message about his neighbor. I don't want to read it. It's not very good. Pretty morbid. Someone passed away, but that's not. How's your year going so far? I mean, uh, it's going, it's going good. I'm thinking about calling up the pilot people tomorrow. Pilot people, the academy to get my private pilot's license private pilot's license should i start posting content to a dormant 6k sub channel or use a new channel how dormant is dormant like when was the last time let's look is this it i'll look at it okay so what do you want to post uh, dormant so two weeks i don't know if that would be dormant what would it what would it be about like your subs are just going to be confused you'll probably drop subs but it'll be all right any good source to learn to use premiere pro besides peter you're talking about peter mckinnon peter mckinnon he doesn't very he doesn't really teach premiere pro like at all justin odisha would be good is this a good hair day for you i never have good hair days all right what should i do since i've never had a job i've been learning c plus plus on my own since last summer um, but the way coding interviews are held stresses me out. Yeah, I mean, that's just interviews. You got to go in there like you don't care if you get the job or not, even though you do, but you have to tell yourself, I don't care if I get the job or not, because then it frees you up to just act how you would act on the job. I was thinking about group coaching and membership site. Uh, group coaching is is could be good, I guess. Yeah, how like what what qualifies you? What qualifies you to do it? I guess. Will there be a recession this year? Hard to hard to find work. It's, I mean, it depends on what you know. Like, okay, everyone everyone needs to make money, right? Uh, and most people think that you can only make money if you have a job. But you really you make money by selling things, services, or selling value selling products. Anyone can make a product and try to sell it. Once you figure out how to do it with consistency, you are you you live outside the the job world. Um that that would be my suggestion. Like try to figure out how to make something and sell it. And you don't even you don't have to go door to door anymore. You can if you push it if you push it on Facebook ads hard enough, someone will buy. Uh, what's the right way to make a comeback on YouTube after not posting for years? I want to continue the same content. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. 58k subs. Holy smokes. Popular uploads 3 million. Dude, that's dope. I've never had I've never had a vid hit a million views. That was rough. Should you post artistic content even if it's bad? Who gets to decide what's good or bad when it comes to artistic content? Yo, like, you know, Jackson Pollock, the dude who literally just flung paint on a canvas. Everyone's like, oh my God, he's a genius. The dude just literally like took his, took his paintbrush, put it, in the, put it in the bucket and flung it on the wall. That's art and people appreciate it. And they, they paid a lot of money. So if you, you know, what defines bad art? Um, if you want to make a comeback, just, come, yeah, I mean, post consistently at least three times. Two minimum, try to go for at least three times a week, 10 minutes. Change the camera view. That's a, that's a good point, Monty. So it's a gaming channel. One year ago. Yeah, just jump back in. I mean, Rainbow Six Siege is still popping off, so it's still good. Did I miss anything? Make a chicken watering bucket and sell on Amazon. Make the content be a dream. Exactly. Um, my channel slowly died when I lost my consistent upload schedule. Well, I, I think it's because none of this really, none, none of this content is really searchable. Like no one would really look for this. This is, you, 
To post gaming content, you have to stay up to date, which means you have to post consistently. If you post a one-off video that is just so unique that people search it up, then you're good. But this kind of content, this, this kind of content is not searchable. People don't look this up. They look up what the newest like stuff is with gaming content. I don't know if that makes sense or if I'm like explaining this well. Quantity creates quality. That is facts. 100% facts. Quantity creates quality. You got to post a lot so you can figure out what you're good at and what you're bad at and then what your audience likes. And then try to find the middle ground. Oh, by the way, how's this mic? Because this mic, well, the cord, this is the mic that I usually use. It hangs here. It broke. Well, the cord broke. So I'm using this ASMR mic that I bought. It's just the Yeti X. Um, do they ask differently difficulty of questions if you apply for a different level of develop? I mean, sometimes you can apply for a junior job and they go ask you a whole bunch of senior questions. It's a joke, you know, like it depends on the company. Some companies, yeah, you've seen the applications, right? Like a junior dev and then they require 10 years experience. It just depends on the company. Have you thought about getting into drop shipping? Uh, the thing with me is that drop shipping is just selling a product that's not mine at a markup with Facebook ads. I mean, I, I could do it with my own brand, but I'd rather white label than drop ship. If you don't know what white labeling is, white labeling is basically just drop shipping. But you like most supplements, most gym supplements that you buy at the store, uh, pre-workout, protein powder, creatine, they're, they're all the exact same powder formulated somewhere. And then they send a blank bottle to the person who wants to sell it. And then... That person sends them a design for the wrapper and that company starts mass producing all of the gym supplements with that wrapper. Exact same bottle, exact same powder inside, just the wrapper is different. White label is different. So uh, white labeling is very popular. You can do that on Ali, AliExpress and Alibaba. But drop shipping is essentially uh, dropshipping is essentially just selling other products that already exist for a markup. And I uh, don't like, you know, if you're selling, if you're selling wallets from Alibaba Express and I'm selling the same wallet from Alibaba Express, the only thing that makes your product better than mine is your ability to market it better and have a better Facebook ad. The value you provide with dropshipping is the marketing and, and reaching people. Yeah, but you have to pay for that. So it's like you're you're paying to make like you know. Yeah, it's selling pots and pans with a different logo. Is how to white labeling in your affiliate course? No. White labeling is is very look, we'll do it. Look, I'll uh look, I'll show you. Let's Google it together. There I had like there was a there's a homegirl at my house. I was streaming. But she left, so I was about to go. I was about to end the stream and go check on her, but she left. So, um, looks like the stream is gonna continue. All right, let me. Here you go. I'll show you what this looks like. This is white labeling. And uh, private label supplement pricing list. And you can buy all this stuff over here. And you have to buy a minimum amount. And then you send them the label. See, what products are you looking for to purchase? Where are you located? This is, this is everything that they sell without, without a label on it that you can buy and put your own label on. Vitamin C, rejuvenating serum. Uh testosterone yeah that's probably fake you, that's illegal if that's the well they, they call it testosterone but that's a that's a, probably some herbal bs keto strips why would you white label keto strips but people do i guess my keto strips are better um but this is what this is what the products look like right so right here oh what the heck Right here, this is like your typical creatine bottle that would have, you know, 
alpha male X increased testosterone gains, blah, 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 blah. All right. Then you have your typical supplement bottles without the label. And then you send them your Photoshop file and they slap it on. And if you pay for the minimum amount, which they don't list here, they will suddenly send you like 300 bottles of whatever this is in your label. Then you sell it and say, hey, that was my, that was my product. I made this product. No, you didn't. You, you bought someone else's product and put your wrapper on it. That's literally white labeling. And it's, it's probably the way to go about drop shipping. One week of keto, dude, me too. Congrats, we did it. Okay. Let's go back. Hopefully that has been insightful. Today you learned. So it's best to follow only companies that show, to, that show the product actually being made. If they show the product actually being made, it doesn't mean anything. Like when it gets to the part where it, where it automates the wrapper going around the bottle, it's just gonna it's just gonna be set on your company at that point in time, and then in 20 minutes when it's done printing your uh, whatever the amount you ordered was, it's gonna print the next company. What about private labeling courses? What are your thoughts? It's really not that hard to do. I just googled uh, white label supplements. This site came up. You fill out this form. You tell them which products you want, and then it, they'll respond and say, "Okay, how much do you want? This is our price. Okay, send me your label. We'll print them and ship them to you." There's no need to make a course on white labeling. Um, you could, like, that's how you do it. And then you could learn Facebook ads. And that could be a course because Facebook is a, a beast. Okay. I have random ideas in all directions. I certainly don't want to work again. Yeah, that's the hard part. You have to find the, find, you got to test all the random ideas. You got to test them all out and see what sticks. You have to see. Like some of them are going to do terrible. Some of them are going to do great. The ones that you think are going to do terrible will probably do great. And then you'll probably just do more of those. That's usually how it goes. I followed your tips. All right, Jane, let's take a look. Home flip profit. Looking good, bro. All right, let's jump in. Nine views, two hours. You should put the amount of profit that you can make put numbers like numbers and money do a lot like go look at Graham Stevens like you're definitely doing that with the surprise faces Graham Steven Graham Stefan you're definitely you're definitely doing a surprise face that he does um, but you got to put some numbers let's take a look though hello I'm Jay McCormick would you like to know how to flip a house for a profit okay one thing immediately that I notice is you need some space behind you dude um, it looks very claustrophobic when you have a wall directly behind here. Let me show you what I mean. But just if you're going to film these types of videos, then let me show you how I would change that real quick. So one second. claustrophobic so take this get some space behind yourself a little bit add some depth add some character so now let's put myself I don't know maybe like right here a little bit better a little bit better less claustrophobic I got some depth if you really want you could add something in the foreground maybe like right like I'm gonna use my bottle for example but like you know something like this you could use a plant or something that you got in the house. Um, they got got foreground, got me in the middle, and then you got space in the background. Okay. Anyways, so you can see the difference in that. Like even right now, I have some space behind me, and I'm in the middle, and this is in the foreground. That's 
but you get you get what I'm saying. Just little things like that uh, at, create character in the shot. Let me move this down so you can see it. So like right here, right there in the corner. There you go. Mike's, Mike's just jealous because he wants to teach film school too. Welcome aboard. I don't know. So anyways, for this, that's what I would change immediately. Great video once again. Dude, thumbs up for sure. Let's go back. Well, in this video, I'll be discussing just that. First, I'll explain why people choose flipping over many other things. Second, I'll tell you the great game What What camera are you using? Flipping. And towards the end, third, flips that you should stay away from and the ones that you should do. Now, you need to learn your market. So it's no surprise that you always have to do your research in the real estate world. So you can really find great deals, you can find bad deals, and you can find mediocre deals. So you always need to be researching the data on all different listing services, and you'll be really surprised to see what kind of deals are structured and also uh, ways that you can... Could you show me one? Could you show me an example of the websites that you're talking about in this video? Like, that's cool. You're telling me cool information, but could you show me an example? Because that's, that's the question I'm asking myself. Like, oh, that's cool. You'll be surprised. Okay, take this opportunity to surprise me and show me what you're talking about. You can be getting in the game of flipping and many other strategies as well. Always grab your calculator. And oh, holy moly. Alex. See. The square foot all right per thank you for that I, so you know we'll, ju we'll jump into that one moment are. and you know you don't want to go for the kind of deals um you're also talking down to the subject no it's actually this is called the hero shot in uh in film when the camera is pointed up at a character it's called the hero shot it makes that character look larger so it makes it actually gives people more of a power like it like it look like it sounds bad you're talking down but actually this is uh, subconsciously it makes this person look more authentic I, I, t today you guys learned i guess film with josh welcome to film with josh all okay, right let's continue oh uh, alex i will i will jump on that in two seconds you're not getting the right equity from so always look throughout all the neighborhoods make sure that people are actually selling for what it's worth and also not selling for something that's a lot lower than its price but actually uh, for a lot higher you never w can you show me can you show me what you're talking about that would be my main thing with this video show me you're giving me you're, you're, you're telling me what to do but you're not showing me how to do it you should show me how to do it and then I'll come back for more because I'll be like oh wow what else can I learn hello I'm Jane McCormick would you like to know how to become rich in real estate well, in this video, got my I'll light. be doing exactly that. First, I'll explain exactly why people choose real estate over a lot of other things. Second, how it happens and the game plan that you should use. And towards the end, third, a way to do thousands of deals with no money. Now, cash flow. It's no surprise that cash flow is very important when you're trying to really build your net worth in real estate. You can just buy a property rent it out and get money each month it's a very it's very simple very sufficient way to be able oh, to you grow sufficient. and really succeed wildly beyond like you know just one what about the part where people have to have a business or income for two years before they can get a loan from a bank and uh, there's a lot there's a lot to this link to my book that will help you when complete link will show here how do you have a book with a correct custom game plan? It's a hard-coded book. That's a little confusing. Maybe a website would be better for that. Um, respect on the eye contact. I, yeah, for sure. I can't even look at the camera. I can't even complete my sentences sometimes. It's trash, dude. I'm trash. I want to go into that uh, uh, area, and you know, you'll see your building. Just give me examples high. again. You know, too much information without any references or examples. It just comes off as trying hard. Dude, this is his first video, man. It's all good. It's all good. We don't, we, we, you got, it's, it's, it's a lot. Let's, you, let's, we should go look at my videos, dude.
I don't know. Has this been helpful? How to become rich in real estate? You're, you're telling me how, but you're not showing me how. Or at least show me one example how. Or show me how you did it. Something like that. John, what's up? All right, let's get to 25. Alex. All right, here we go. Let me make sure I don't dox you real quick. So I'm going to swap over. I'm going to click on your resume make sure your phone number is not here real quick. Random, you gotta stop, bro. Your resume uh, is not working. Did you mention anything about that? How can I improve them, especially portfolio with design content to add? Okay. Resume. Okay, you blocked it out. Okay, okay good. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you again, by the way. My links are not implemented. Got it. Okay. Um, GitHub contact, Swift, Firebase, GitHub, Apex Gaming PC's companion app. Uh, so are these going to be, like, is this just the tech that you used? Obviously, GitHub is cool, but I'd like to see it in action. Give me, uh, give me a little hosted site where I can go play around with this app. Same thing for all of these. Portfolio website. Is that this? Okay. Maybe a picture would be good. But well, I'm going to need demos of all these, basically. No GitHub for eSports Team Builder. Yeah, so we're going to need a picture. This is cool. Um, I'm a pre-junior software engineering student. Uh, don't why, don't give away any of that information. Don't don't tell people where you're at in your studies. So they can find that out in the interview. Uh, yeah, think, just don't shoot yourself in the foot. Like people might not bring you in for the interview because they'll see that you're a pre-junior. Whereas if you were to remove this from your portfolio, they would bring you in. And then when you say, "Oh yeah, I'm a pre-junior." at school they'd be like oh we weren't expecting that and then you'd be like oh don't worry about it it's fine look at what i can do real quick you wouldn't get a chance to have that conversation because they would read this and say bye and you wouldn't that wouldn't that opportunity would be missed those hypothetical situations would be missed because you're giving them too much information that can be talked through in an interview that you just you know they're just uh, eliminating you for so Yellow background, white text. I haven't got to the design yet. It's a little bit hard to read. Uh, this purple gradient is, it's it's okay, I guess. Um, ha, what? Maybe use colors for this. Have you guys ever used colors? Coolers. So this is like a free little generator that you can use to find uh, like good color palettes. You just press space and it generates some, it's like finds complementary colors and stuff. So if I want to lock in red and gray, so I lock those two there and then I hit space and it generates complementing colors. So yeah, anyways, this is colors if you guys want to know, if you've never been there before. There you go. Uh, what if you end up over your head? What if you get hired for a job and there's nobody to ask for guidance? That that it happens, right? What if? And it happens. For sure that happens. Then you just, you tell them, hey, I'm in over my head. It's going to take me a minute to get caught up. Like, go to them before they question your ability. Like, Because you're already questioning your own ability regardless. Like, everyone's questioning their own ability. Like, always. So, go to them. If you know that you're going to get stuck and you're going to, have a hard time, go to them be like, hey, look, man, it's going to take me a minute to get caught up with what's going on here. I uh, don't really know what I'm doing. Just, you know, I know you hired me because you believed in me, but, you know, just give me a shot here. Rob, you're welcome. Wow, I just used Pinterest. Yeah, Coolers is good. It's a good uh, complimentary color site. 
Just this color website is the worst thing that happened to me. You're, you are welcome. Pretty much every job is like that. Yep. Uh, what else? So maybe use that for this palette. But the overall design is fine. Like, there's no needless pages, I guess. All right, let's take a look at the old Resumato. Bug Bounty, University, GPA 4.0. I, I, if you care, I guess. If if your GPA is not like worth noting, then just don't put GPA at all. Even if they ask. And if they ask, just put 4.0. And when they ask for your transcripts and they do the math, they're like, this is not 4.0. Either you weren't going to get the job anyways, or maybe you can talk your way into it. That's where I'm coming from. Your GPA is not at least 3.5, don't apply. Okay, well, I'm a 2.8, but I'm going to apply anyways. And then you're going to get my transcripts and you're going to do the math and you're going to be like, this is not 3.5. And I'm going to be like, yeah, that's cool. But uh, I passed everything else in the interview, right? And it's about doing the job good. So you really want to penalize me for not having this GPA, this arbitrary requirement that no longer affects me because I'm not doing school or tests or classes anymore. Once I'm doing this job, I'm making you money, right? You want to, you want to let me have the job still, you know, like that's where I'm coming from. <laughs> so what if they fact check it? Anyways, GPA uh, tidbit for you. Is resume review only for paid requests? I mean, we were doing YouTube channel thing, but he, he donated, so we're doing it. Developed and automated. Looks good. Got your action verbs. Education. Take Put put that at the bottom, bro. Put your education at the bottom. I know, like, you think it's everything. I did too. Uh, but... Put, put your education at the bottom put your put your skills and your projects at the top I assume that you mm, skills languages uh, unless you think this will help you I would take languages off hmm What about soft skills? And when I say soft skills, I don't mean like team management. I mean like, what about like agile? What about version control? Oh, you have Git there. Uh, what about like Atlassian Suite? The bullets don't really work on this resume. I think I think the bullets are fine. I think maybe you should just use two different fonts. So you have, well, are you using? Yeah, use two different fonts. Why is your experience as a software engineer not at the top? Yeah, you have employment, which is interesting. Take intern off your resume. Never put intern on your resume. Just put software engineer. If you put intern, they're going <laughs> to... If you put intern on your resume, they're going to lowball you in terms of salary because they're going to think that you don't know how to play the game because you were just an intern, and this is going to be your first, quote, real job, so they're going to lowball the shit out of you. Take intern off your resume. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You can tell them that you're an intern maybe later if you want, but I would just say, no, nah, I was a part-time software engineer over the summer. This, that's what intern is anyways, right? So, also you need links. You need links to these projects on a resume. What if you go into the interview and they ask about Agile, You say you, and you don't know Agile? You say, well, um, I'm not... This is what you say. Uh, I've heard of Agile. I have not used it in a professional capacity, but I would love an opportunity to use it here. That's what that's what I would say. Yeah, Agile takes less than five minutes to learn, I'd say. like, <laughs> Y'all want to see Agile? Hold on. All right, y'all ready for this? Hold. All right, so we're now doing Agile with Josh. First, you have your backlog section over here. Then you have your tickets. Then you have your in progress. And then you have your, uh, let's see, waiting, waiting on someone else section. And then you have your QA testing section. And then you have your push to production section. And so what you do is you take your ticket, 
whatever one you're on, and you just drag it from each one as you progress with your name and the ticket number. Ta-da, we have learned Agile today with Josh. Usually on these little cards, you have an estimate of how long it's going to take you and what exactly it is you are doing. And if any information that someone else needs to know, you put that in this little card too. But yeah, you just drag it from backlog or, you know, can you believe there's some guy's job to manage this? Like it makes, it's, it's a joke, dude. Scrum master, you mean like some guy who can't code, but tells other people how to code better? Okay. So Agile is just a Trello board. Yeah, basically it's just a giant, it's just a giant to-do list in Trello board style. That's all it is. You ever see those people in my corporate cringe videos that like, uh, let me find the video. There's a meme about this. No. Here we go. One second. This is a pretty good video if you haven't oh, seen for it. A long time. Project management is good, right? It's just like, imagine telling someone how to code better and faster when you've never coded ever. Like the, the, the worst project managers are the ones who've never done the job ever. Because they're like, the customer wants this. And you're like, well, that's not really possible. And they're like, just get it done or you're fired because somehow they're above you. Anyways, let me show you what it looks like in practice. Where's the lady come and she puts the bug on the board. Here we go. This is project owner. There you go, right there. This is what happens in real life. Someone comes up and they put a little sticky note. They put a little sticky note on, on the glass wall and then someone's like, oh no, see the rest of the sticky notes? Those are, those are your tickets that you do when you work in an open office. Isn't this great? Now everyone's looking at the board. That's your that's your ticket number. There's your the amazing. Are now rushing to find the problem. Ugh. Everyone wants to be first. This is a pretty funny video. <laughs> this one seems to have a fix ready. If he can be the one. They get the the David Attenborough voice going. Anyways, that's what it looks like in real life. Someone comes and says, hey, we have a ticket. And then you go and you take your little sticky note and you move it from the glass window to another place on the glass window in the t in the to-do section. Forrest, what up? Glad to see my tags are working. Dude, what up? Look at, look at this. Sorry, you can't work remote. You just have to sit next to each other and not talk all day long with headphones on instead. Isn't that great? That's great. Look at this. This is this is what you're going to be doing for the next 40 years of your life. Wow, that's fantastic. That's what I want to do every day until I retire, if I'm lucky. No thanks. Okay. We were doing the we were doing the resume, yeah. Let's go back. You need links to these. Put your skills and your projects up top. Education is like the bottom of the bottom. I would still put employment above education. Uh yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think that's all I got. Let me check my phone real quick. I'm reading chat at the same time. Does it matter what time you publish a video? Uh, peak time for me is about 12 o'clock, like lunchtime. Okay, we're good. Remote or bust? Yep, yeah, basically. 
Let's see. Uh, TJ, what's up, dude? Hope you're doing swell, man. So what are good SEO tools? SEO tools. I'm not sure. Yoast. Yoast is what I use for mine, but SEO doesn't really apply to me because no one knows what a grind reel is. A grinder eel. <laughs> That's what everyone says. I didn't think it through. I'm now a dating app meme. How many lines of JavaScript people realistically push daily at a company? I don't think lines of code matter because you can just do a new line as much as you want. I don't think lines of code matters. Uh, I don't think hours worked matters. It's all about the value that your ticket adds, basically. Are you still reviewing channels? Yeah, dude, you got a channel? Let's check it out. Like, just because a, a ticket took 20 minutes doesn't mean it was, wasn't hard. You know, just because a ticket took four hours doesn't mean you weren't working. It's so subjective. Are, how are you are reviewing channels? I'm just clicking on your name and going to channel, basically. Oh, there's a playlist. No channel there. Upgraded his Windows 7 to Windows 10. Dude, I know that feel. You go to the you go to the you go to the family's house and suddenly you're like, oh yeah, you play video games, right? Oh, you must be you know you know everything about technology and computers. I work at a fan company. <gasps> Dude, teach us your ways. Uploads, dude, by a Japanese entrepreneur, dude. Let's do it. Let's check it out. See if we can't get you some subs and viewers. Hey, guys. My name is Andrew Nakagome, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to make an internet... Uh, you can, you can clip it on your shirt. I'm sure you know that. ...based startup from scratch. Bro, we just signed up for a Japanese lesson. So a little about me. I'm a 23-year-old Japanese Canadian with a background in SEO, web development, and marketing. I have a question. Um, it kind of sounds like you're whispering. Maybe the mic is really hot, like super sensitive mic. Uh. Or maybe it's just because it's your first video. I'm not sure. But do you, does it kind of sound like... It kind of sounds like you're whispering a little bit. Currently going to college in Vancouver because I'm interested in studying before moving back to Tokyo. Like you don't want to wake someone I'm up. I'm fluent in English and Japanese. And for a Japanese company, I've been working as an SEO specialist. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. How can we disrupt an already established industry? In I like the storytelling though, dude. This is really good time some examples would be amazon disrupting the entire commerce industry with e-commerce wikipedia disrupting traditional encyclopedias and social media just a lot of editing man i don't know if i would face i don't think you need I to do all this in my mind that there's over 7.5 billion people on this earth and over 3 billion internet users which can potentially be both a customer but unfortunately they can also be a potential competitor it can go both ways as they say there's always someone better than you in china since I can speak both English and Japanese, I decided to focus on doing something that requires both languages to cut my competition down. However, I realized that it's still very important to focus on the English market so I can tap into 1.5 billion people while the Japanese market only has 100 million people. Specializing in something is very important. In the day and age of the internet, since the world is connected, there is so much more competition in 2019 compared this is good, to dude. 1919. Dude, this is good. Because just, of the just, uh, speak count, up, there man. Also so many more like, I, I, this happens a lot when you're, when this is like your first video, like you're new to making videos. It's weird. You just like, by default, you're like, how's it going? Like, uh, so I want to do this. It's okay, man. I think some people just like editing more than you, Josh. That if you love editing, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, but people like watching people tell stories, you know? Like, it's, I'm trying to be pragmatic. If you really like editing and you have the time to spend, but it doesn't add anything to the story and you just want to do it just because and you don't care if it adds value, hey, great, go for it. I'm just trying to be the most 
pragmatic so that you can edit the video and upload the video and still have time to work on your tech startup, you know, trying to save time in the best ways possible. But if you just want to do it because you want to do it, go for it, dude. It's like B-roll, you know, like B-roll by itself, like epic cinematic B-roll. It has no value. Like, but some people watch it just because it's cool. But that's like, you know, personal taste. You will just end up being a small fish in a big pond. Focus on being a micro authority in a smaller pond. Be the king of a smaller category. If you build a multimedia brand specifically focused on traditional food in Thailand and you spoke both Thai and English, you might be able to create a unique community specifically for an English-based audience interested in Thailand's food culture. Big companies have big expenses. They cover all topics. If you spend 100% of your energy in one topic, you can establish yourself as an authority in that micro category. Even having superior knowledge than bigger corporations, you may not win 99% of the topics, but the one craft you master, you own that craft. Nobody. That's pretty dope. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff. This is a. This is a lot of uh, separate topics in here. I think each one of these topics deserves their own video. Maybe that's your plan, but the uh, the camera I use is the front camera on my iPad Pro. Use the back camera on the iPad. Back camera on the phone is way better than the front camera. The texts aren't really needed. Okay, yeah. So here's the thing with uh, with making videos: show, don't tell, and tell, don't show. So if you're talking about something, just talk about it. You don't need to show it unless you stop talking. Then you can show for emphasis. But show and don't tell and tell and don't show. You know what I'm saying? Like, did I say that right? Like, if you're going to show something, show it. The audience is smart enough to figure out what you're showing. If you're going to talk about it, just talk about it. You don't need to show because the audience can figure it out based on how you're communicating. Uh, does that make sense? Like, you want to do both, right? You want to make sure they understand, like, because you're so consumed. You're like, okay, I'm talking about this. I need to show it so they, they definitely know what I'm talking about. Don't worry, man. We'll figure it out. I have I have trouble with that myself. I end up showing all this extra stuff as I'm talking about it. Showing emphasis on something while you talk is different than like duplicating what you're doing. Is that? Yeah. I don't know which direction to go with my content. I got 34K views in one video, but low views for the others. It's all about watch time. That's how you get recommended. But let's take a look. I like the video, dude. Keep going. Keep making more. Uh, put yourself more into the into the video like i didn't okay maybe you're thinking something about yourself here in the beginning i'm not thinking about anything like i'm just i'm here listening to what you have to say about tech startups showing you guys how i'm going to make an like internet it's awkward for you but i promise we're not thinking anything this is dope dude this is dope stuff what should my channel be about that i'll never start probably about how you only work out with two routines, six days a week, and you flip-flop them so you have fun 50% of the time. Right, one is belly dancing and one is some other thing, I forget. Josh, you're the reason I started my channel. Dude, I'm all about it, let's do it. I got paid 750 bucks to learn code. This is a dope title, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why this doesn't, why this does not have more views. The check that you're holding up, we can't read. That's a big thing. I'd maybe hold the check like closer to the lens so that you can see that it's 750 bucks, even though if it's a fake, fake, fake check, you know. Roberto, I'll check it out. And the other person, I will check it out. Getting paid to make my app, my code journey. Be careful with the hashtags. And if this is what you want your thing to be, then do it. But let's take a look. How to connect MacBook Pro Air to monitor. That's dope. Um, let's watch it. Wait, wait, hold on. I need to know if the music you're about to play gonna get me demonetized. What are the percentages by the video title? Uh, I have this little add-on up here called vidIQ. It basically just does the ratio of like to dislike. So 96% like, whatever. Um, that way you don't have to calculate it yourself. 
Needs big money signs and you fanning money. Look at this B-roll. Look at this smooth B-roll. This is good. I'm impressed. I love B-roll. But um, just keep in mind here, we are 45 seconds into the video. We still don't know how you made that money. Fifty seconds into the video, still don't know how you made that money. I, I think you should start off the video with the very, very, very beginning and be like, "I made seven hundred and fifty dollars to make my app. I got paid to code, and this is how I did it." And then, boom, cue that B-roll. Because otherwise, I'm trying to skip to the part where you confirm the title, or maybe you like hold up a check like Mr. Beast does or something. Can I un can I unmute it? Am I am I gonna get demonetized? Do you have music in the background? Let's play it. And, uh, okay, we're good. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why I made this channel. What kind of That's a dope keyboard. I, channel, I think I have that keyboard. My story about how I started. The K90. A self-taught. The Corsair K90. I think. First time coming to my channel. Don't subscribe just yet. I know that. Don't say that. Don't what? Don't subscribe just yet, bro. Everybody, go go subscribe to this man. Can you view mine? Yeah, dude. I got you. Might sound weird. Just a heads up, I don't want to be that YouTuber that's like, like and subscribe my video. Too you have to be the YouTuber that says like and subscribe. It sucks, but you got to do it. You have to do it. Seconds into it before we even seen what the video is about. Go give that if man some subs. If you like what I'm going to put on the channel, then feel free to like and subscribe. And if not, thank you for stopping by and I hope you have a wonderful day. Are you, okay, I can tell that you're looking at a, a screen that is not the camera lens. You're looking at yourself or the flip out. I, I can... You're not looking at the lens. If you look on YouTube right now, you'll find two types oh. of videos. One will be the tutorial side, where you get a lot of videos telling you about how to learn a language, it's quiet. how to use Photoshop, how it's to quiet. do UX and UI design. And then you'll find another side, which I call the commentary side. And that side is basically from the perspective of someone who already has a software engineering job or is a front-end developer. They talk about what they did to basically get that job, and they like to give out tips and tricks about how to basically be in the position that they are and what i found is that there aren't very many videos out there i can tell that you're not looking uh, you're like looking past the camera or something um i didn't think about that but i want to focus more on storytelling but i appropriate it and it is it is the K90. I have that. I got it in my closet right now. <laughs> Would you review my channel? Sure. Are you reading from a script? That talk about before they got that job, basically before they made it. Whenever I see those videos, I really wonder what it would have been like to see them when they first started learning how to code, to their first project, to making a portfolio, their resume, applying to jobs, all the way through from start to end, basically when they made it or got the job. And as someone who watches like a lot of YouTube videos, especially videos in web development. Um, I shot on the Blackmagic 4K. Oh, so good. I have a monitor to look at and, fo and focus framing. This is what you got to do. It's awkward. It's super awkward. Is what you do though. I'm using Black Magic as well. That's a K90. Yeah, you're right. It was. Is what you do. You just lean into the microphone like this, or you have the mic just out of frame like this. It's gonna be loud for a sec. Just bear with me. Have the mic just out of frame, which it looks like it is, and then. Just look at the lens. I have an external monitor on top, and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when I'm talking to the monitor up there, rather than looking at you. You see the difference? So I'm telling you a story. Looking up here, you can tell I'm not really looking at the audience at all. I'm looking at myself, at the background, and all this stuff. You gotta look at the lens. It's really weird. Just think of it like you're talking to Twitch chat or something. What is a K90? That's the keyboard he's using, Mike. Corsair K90. I'm reading off an iPad. I would suggest don't read. Don't you don't have to read a script. Just make bullet points and set 
set your iPad on your lap. Can't really see your lap. So take your iPad, set it on your lap. Look at the bullet point that you want to talk about. Look up. Talk about it for a minute. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Then you can do a jump cut, look back down, or, you know, talk about it, look down, read the next bullet point, remember what you were going to talk about, and then look back up and keep going. And then you could just jump, jump cut between the two points where you, like, pause to look down and scroll through your iPad to, to remember. Yeah. Does that help? You don't have to read from a script. I don't read from a script. I write my scripts out because it really helps me, like, am I making a good point? But I don't read from it. Yeah, just edit out each time. Magical bamboo. Every time I watch this guy, I watch the whole ad every time. No, dude, you're the real MVP. Welcome to ASMR with Josh. Go subscribe to my second channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, you could get a teleprompter if you want to drop the money for that. Color grade is good. Are you just looking at the center? Is it better to keep eye contact with the camera or break it when talking? I think if you're doing this and you're talking to the camera and you're really looking at the audience and you and you want to like look down because you're thinking about something, cause that's what people do. When people ask you a question, you're like, um, you like look up for a second to think. That makes sense. But generally when you're talking to somebody, you're like looking at them. You're just talking, just talking to the people. No big deal. You know, you can look away, you know, just re gather your thoughts for a second, look back. No big deal. It just takes practice. It's weird because it's not eyes it's not eyeball, it's not human. It's a it looks like a cyclops, you know? Just it's weird. It's weird. At least for me it was. It is. Michael, I got you, fam. Anything else you want me to look at? Or yeah, you could you could add B roll to hide your cuts. Add add B roll to hide the cuts. Let me go back. I'm going to finish this video. Then I'll do you, uh, Michael. I learned color grading from your live stream a while back. Hey, nice. It's not It's not super hard. Just add saturation uh, and then contrast. If you're using Premiere. If I started doing gaming, I want to switch to the tutorial. Should I make a new channel? No, just keep going. Just keep going. People will watch regardless. It, just look at the viewers I have on this stream right now. It's tra it's all in all, like honestly, this is trash viewership for the stream because this is not what I normally do. But sometimes you have to trade off views for brand of what you really want to do. Put googly eyes on your camera. That's that's a pro tip. I should try that. I think that'd be distracting. I don't think I. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. I don't see very many videos that do what I just described. And since that's a video I would like to watch, I would actually follow and seek out and I can't find it. I feel like I'm not the only one in that situation. So I say, why not create it? Because I am in that position where I can. I'm not a web developer. I'm not a software engineer. He's a color checker. No. Learning and trying to teach themselves how to become one. And I can document that journey and put it on YouTube for you. So. That's why I made my code journey. All right, so now I want to talk about how I got started in learning web development. The story actually starts out in my senior year of university. See, at my university, they your desk is clean, dude. Launch my launch. desk is like and dust everywhere. It's basically like an entrepreneurship center where you can go with an idea, and they would help you to kind of take your idea to a physical product that you can go and pitch to investors. They would do things. You're like editing the video. Prototyping. While you're making help, it. Designing logos, getting yourself on the internet, and making a website. Basically, anything you need to do. Sometimes I don't know what's on. Oof. And help get your idea out there to the world. Another thing that the Launch Lab did were pitch competitions. And in my senior year. Um. Okay. What you did right here when you tossed in that B-roll. Making a website. Basically, anything you need there's, to do. It's almost too short. Professional and help it's almost like, wait, what? There. Like, so did I see that or not? That the Launch Lab did were pitch competitions. There's music at the end that will get me flagged. Roger year, that. They were doing pitch competitions for app ideas. And... I had an app idea and I thought it'd be fun to enter. So I entered my idea, created a little PowerPoint. That's a lot of editing. Board type thing. Is this Da Vinci? That's Da Vinci. I won. So the winner of this competition got two things. The first thing they got was 750. I want to start making my channel and the cut for this live stream. That's very beneficial. Yeah, dude. I'm building my channel from the ground up. Partly because, hey, dude, I'm, ha I'm happy it helps. I know what it's like to be a little dude. Like, it, I'm not saying everyone has to be a YouTuber to get out of their job, but it's some way to build a brand and a brand is you can leverage that, right? If you com command attention in any way, you can leverage that. His right hand shows a lot of tension. I mean, I don't know. Dude, it's it's always awkward. 
it's just all, it's it's when you're new it's it's rough dude the dollar is to basically go help fund their app idea but the second thing they want and in my opinion the way more valuable thing by if you wanted you could move different locations you could move around because right now you're you're changing between zooming in and zooming out. You could just change the like move your tripod. I assume it's on a tripod. Like like exactly. This is the same angle we're using. Like your angle and mine are identical right now. So you could you know move it around. When's the next time you'll do it? I don't know. I just I just do it because I like to do it. I just wish people told me this stuff. And I learn when I do it. So what direction you want your channel to go? I like, I like film and filmmaking, but you got to be good at it if you do it. You got to have good like so. I think documentary style videos is what I'd want to do, but still kind of software related. Make game dev, document getting my pilot's license, but make it entertaining AF to watch. You know, I can't say the you know actual AF, but you get it. Let's see. Looks good, dude. It's good stuff. Remember this video with Josh moving outside and inside throughout a video? Yeah, I like that. It keeps people's attention better when you change the background environment. Otherwise, people alt tab to it or go to another tab or put you on another screen and just listen. They don't, you know, they don't watch. Which I guess isn't a big deal unless you care. Okay. All right, let's let's go to the next one. Two uh, two and a half hours. Holy crap, time is flying by. Holy moly. I gotta go to the gym, do shoulders. Have a disability with my right hand so it stays. It's all good, dude. Nobody cares. That looks good, dude. Make more. Definitely make more. Go sub to this man's channel, by the way. Let me hit you with the practical coding PC. We stay very PC on this channel. That's what you should say. <laughs> we keep it PC. Um, I, you still didn't really tell us how you made 750 bucks within the first few seconds. Just FYI. Here's the here's the here's the channel. I guess you can't review music channels now because I'll get flagged. Like if this was Twitch, I could do it because Twitch just mutes that part of the video, and then keeps the rest of the video monetized. But YouTube just says, "Hey, you pay you you played two seconds of someone's copyright song. This entire live stream now belongs to them. And there's nothing you could do about it." Okay, Michael, four hundred subaronis. Let's look. Google coding question. Make that Google logo bigger, my man. Google logo just commands viewership. I don't know. Let's uh let's do this one, I guess. Hey everyone, Michael here. So I'm going to be going over the leak code question. First unique character in a string. So the problem statement is given a string. Dude, we're just jumping. We're just jumping right into this. Find the first non. Comparing the character that we're at to the uh, key value Micah's pairs that we loud. just mapped, and once we find a value of one, we know that that'll be our answer. Uh, I don't know what what mic you're using. What mic are you using? It sounds like a headset, like a like a gaming headset mic. If you were to change your mic, dude, you're 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 getting tons of views. You should get some sort of affiliate, man. You should get some sort of affiliate for whatever algorithm site that you want. But I feel like 900 views, you could make some money off of that by saying, "Hey, I learned here because this is leak code." I mean, it's free, right? But I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. You could monetize this without being monetized. You don't have to wait to get ad revenue to make money on YouTube. How do I convert my channel to maximize residual viewers? You have to ask for people to click subscribe and the bell. That's residual. But most of the time, my views, like 70% of my views are not subscribed. Oh, my newer videos don't sound like that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Craig, yeah, I guess we're still live. Hey, everyone. So for this video, oh, we're going to go over the, the problem Yeti. reverse integer. So I figured this would be a good problem to go over just because the acceptance rate is pretty low. 
So hopefully this is useful for some people that had some problems solving this. So the problem description says, given a 32-bit signed integer, reverse digits of an integer. Uh, you should run a little bit of a little bit of post processing on your audio. Just a little bit of post. Let me show you what I mean. Put a uh, like a compressor on your audio. It'll make you sound like a radio host. Let me show you. Let me, okay, so I'll record a little clip. Can I do it? Will it let me do it? Oh no, how's my sound? This is this is a timeline of Clement and I's video, by the way. If you're curious. Can I record? Oh. Anyways, uh, so if you go to effects and you type in compressor, up here there's a, uh, can't see it. Let me move myself down. Right here, there's a thing called multiband compressor. Drag this onto your audio and go to your effects. Really? Here, uh, multiband compressor and then click edit. And then go to enhance highs or lows or pop master. And you'll sound just like a radio host for free. Or you could you could do the same thing in Audacity for audio. Um, Camtasia. Uh, if you don't want to pay for Adobe, just use just use DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is the best free editing program. Like I, they have a paid version and a free version, and the free version is just missing out on like noise reduction. That's about it. DaVinci Resolve or Adobe are the only two that I would ever use. Okay. First integer overflows. So let's jump over to the whiteboard and I'll show you guys how to solve this. At least you so have we're going to go filter. over the example reversing 123 to 321. And to do this... These are good, dude. I think the thumbnails are the big thing here. Like, I can't really read this because the, the code in the background of the thumbnail is looks is text just like the, the text on the thumbnail. Um... I would put yourself in there and put leak code reverse reverse integer maybe because you have your face in the video so you could put it on this is that for audio or both it's for audio what do you mean Craig If it doesn't sound like Herbert, we don't want it. Oh, look, I got you. Here you go. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all having a good night? I hope that this stream has provided some sense of value. At least, at least maybe you learned a thing or two about it. And maybe I'll show you what I would do for a leak code reverse integer thumbnail. If we go ahead, we, if we just download this thumbnail real quick. Just real quick. Just, just nice and easy. Okay. I'm gonna do all my videos in this voice. All right. Um. Let me. Let me just. I I think that. I would do something like this on the right over here, than 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 this on the left. I just can't read it. Look, I'll I'll uh here. I assumed you just search like code backgrounds. Like this would be fine. Uh, what is that voice program? It's called Voice Mod Pro. 
Um, it comes with like three free ones. It's like ten bucks. They've got they've got some pretty good ones in here. Uh, you got Titan. Uh, this is a, this is a good one. Hey, uh, let me slide through. Let me try to let me try to slide through. Now I'm trying to try to get them digits. Uh, you know, hey, it's it's all good. Hey, hey, what's your number, girl? Uh, I don't. And what else? Oh, you said Da Vinci asked if his audio or editing or both. The Da Vinci, Da Vinci is both. Da Vinci is just full fledged full fledged editing program. Uh, this one's pretty hilarious. Helio, that's one. That one's pretty toxic. This one's good. Thanks again for the review. Yeah, dude. Thanks for being here. Uh, this one's pretty good because you don't even have to know how to sing. All you have to do is just have a little bit of rhythm in your voice, and all it does is just it converts everything you say to basically be. Well, I mean, it's not as cool as this, but essentially, this is just T Pain. You know what I'm saying? So, it's pretty neat program. All right, so let me come back to your thumbnail. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, what was what was it? Reverse integer, leak code reverse integer. Or if you really wanted to do it, I'd probably do it in two steps. Like that, maybe? Lead code reverse integer and then maybe like how how to and solution. And then you could reverse. We could maybe looks a little bit plain. So we could reverse these. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm free winging it here, but uh, let me see. Like this. And we drag the opacity down a little bit. Like that. See when you when you uh if you can still read it when it's small, so there's this and then we'll go to this. So let's just compare. What was that thumbnail thing you used earlier tonight? I just, I literally just typed thumbnail downloader. <laughs> so this is the difference. Actually, yeah. See the readability difference? We could maybe put half and half. Oops. Let's 
So it's all about readability. I don't know. Does this help? I don't think I should cheap out any longer. I mean, with, with the niche that you're in, it's super profitable, so it probably pay itself off fairly quick. But, yeah. And then you, and you make them small, so you try to see if they're still readable. It's not bad. Dude, I would do this. I would do this all day. If if this if this type of stream was like actually, you know, at thousands of viewers and people wanted to know, I would I literally do this every video. This is just fun for me. Okay. So mainly the mainly just the thumbnails. Uh, the quality of the videos are good. Uh, I would change maybe your icon a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. These colors don't go good together, blue and that color green. In my opinion, right? Who am I? Always, so always minimize them. Always shrink them down and say, can I read this when it's on a phone? Yeah. Who else? Who else do I got in here? Review my sister's channel. Uh, this will probably get me flagged. It'll most likely get me flagged. So no, I'm not going to do it. The old Josh. Roberto, yeah, dude, let's do it. Hola. No. Can I get de demonetized? Am I going to get demonetized, Roberto? I need to know. The thumbnails on this need need work. Don't reuse your thumbnails. Yeah, definitely don't reuse thumbnails. These thumbnails are, are better. Array of objects. What, what about it, Java? You should put like how to maybe. Oh, I did. Yeah, my aviation life. I'm sorry, dude. I forgot. I'm so glad I have 65, 64 gigs of RAM. Like, see all these tabs? <laughs> How's my computer still moving right now? Dude, how much you pay for that setup? Holy moly. Uh, this is This is pretty dope, actually. I think maybe you should change the color of the font. Flag because you haven't given credit for the music in the videos. No, even if you give credit for the music in the videos, uh, they'll claim all of the uh, ad revenue if I get any. Is this the vidIQ channel audio live stream? What? No, I don't think so. ILS to 300. Bro, you probably know more about flight sims than me. I'm jelly. All right, let's let's take a look. This Microsoft Flight Sim. Got all your got all your indicators down there. Open task manager. Yeah, I'm probably using like 30 gigs for sure, no doubt. Sim setup tour. Oh, it's X Plane. Eleven. I can't read. That's cool. That's a lot of work. Just to fly planes. That's cool. It's filmed on a GoPro, I think. It's a phone or a GoPro. It looks like a GoPro. It's very wide. Got your pedals, rudder pedals. This is good stuff, dude. You just got to post more content, I guess. And the audio is a little, not the audio, the video is a little fuzzy. 
Should I make a cop picture up with this family entertainment? Yes. Um, all right. What is this? Is this the, is the, who is this? Is this the starting strength guy? This is starting strength. No, this is a uh, bigger, leaner, stronger guy. Okay. Um, all right, Roberto, uh, you should, before you upload a video, you should maybe like, you should clear clear the stuff off your desktop, probably. And then like, or at least at least cut this part out, you know? Like, what if you had the hub open? Or if you had the old, the old red, the red YouTube open? You know what I'm saying? Like, would you have still like uploaded it? This is Mike Matthews. You're like closing stuff out before you started. So you just pause the video and you're like, it's time to do Java, or I guess I don't know, but uh, the, just be careful about that, dude. Don't dox yourself. Right now, it states and let's test it for that, and if it works for this, it's well, mechanical dad make a comeback. That's a good question. He's got. He's been building a plane. He sent me a bunch of pictures of like a plane he's been making. This wooden plane with like two props. There's a lot of white noise. You could probably do a noise reducer on this in the audio. Uh, these are good. They just need better thumbnails. This is good. Okay. Uh, I, I assume that you're just like not editing at all and you're just uploading directly. Plain sounds like quality video content. Y'all, let me pull it up. Let me look at my email real quick. One sec. Uh. Need suggestion. Look at pics. I took apart a hair dryer for the fan unit. <laughs> what are you doing? This is what he this is what he said. Here, look. You up late. It's 7.42, no big deal. This is what he's this is what my dad has been making. You have another one? One sec. Oh, he sent me two options. So he's like, he's like, do I do single prop or multi prop? But that's, I don't know. That's what he's been making with just a bunch of like hair dryers and stuff. That's my dad just building stuff from nothing. Okay. And putting in work from the last ones. Okay, let's look. The the audio, I'm not sure. Sweet, he's an RC guy. Dude, my dad loves RC. He loves it. Is this just talking for 10 minutes? Well, we can see if your dream is to follow. Or, I mean, not to follow your dream because... The title is in English. Oh, except for that. That's Spanish. I don't know. I'm 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 getting hoarse. My voice is going away. So I think we're gonna fully control it with an app. He'll control it with his remote control, I guess. But it has been good, my dudes. It's been good. It's been fun. Hopefully this has helped. We learned a thing or two about the old YouTube at least channels. I had fun. Uh, three hours. So, I'm going to head out. I'll release a video tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night. Or tomorrow morning. 
Not sure which one's going to be. Probably how far six figures really goes, because everyone thinks that's like crazy money when it's actually not after tax, especially in California. It's like no money. I think that'd be enlightening. Or garbage companies. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for being here. I had fun. Um, I guess that's it then. I guess this is this is goodbye until next time. Thanks and happy new year. Oh, King, I think I said that I would review your channel. That's not right for me to leave. 90 subs, drift montage. Yeah, dude, just go for it. 90 subs, definitely go for it. You're not, yeah, don't worry about this. Go for it. Definitely make those tutorials. Y'all, y'all have a good night. I appreciate you. I'll see you later. Happy New Year. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. Thank you for everything.